so a very uh, good afternoon everybody i think we can start uh, already it is 5 minutes late uh, so myself uh, binisham i'm faculty of uh, computer science department jyoti engineering college and i and also i am the student branch counselor of uh, csa students chapter jyoti engineering college so uh, jyoti engineering college that is started by 2002 so currently we have different branches and our colleges are uh, accredited there is nac accredited and nb accredited and currently uh, we are trying colleges applying for an autonomy hope within 6 uh, uh, months everything will be okay so now uh, as part of the uh, computer society of india we are continuously arranging different technical events for the benefit of uh, technical community especially students community so this is one event that is introduction to web development so on behalf of uh, uh, csa student chapter and jyoti engineering college and department of computer science engineering i welcome each and every one to the program so now i welcome uh, my hod dr vinit r to address the gathering
an invitation to the world of computer science too. This is an interesting way to get into that extremely wonderful world of computer science. It is a very, I would say, tantalizing invitation. So I encourage all of you to use this opportunity to gather as much information as possible regarding this technology which is in fact disrupted and manipulated. Perhaps the most disruptive technology after the invention of electricity, perhaps. So uh, and let me congratulate you and also welcome all of you to this or a wonderful and very Okay, uh, thank you, sir. So uh, uh, now uh, I think uh, I would like to pass to the resource person. Actually, our resource person is Mr. Uh, Siddharth, uh, Siddharth P. And Siddharth is Unitan. He is from uh, Department of Computer Science Engineering itself. They are only the fourth semester students. Even though they are on the second year, that is on the fourth semester students, they are very well uh, self-motivated and they are continuously uh, participating in different hackathons and and they have already got different prizes and all i'm sure that they are very good even to present to uh, to, uh, to to uh, you know address this event to address uh, to uh, launch this program so i welcome uh, resource persons mr siddhar p and uh, siddhar sonitan to please continue uh, with presentation okay so over to you siddhar okay thank you sir Uh, Pranav, I am not able to present my screen. I have some permission issues. Please give me the permission. Okay, so uh, I'm Siddharth and I'll be giving you an introduction on the things that you should know before you get started with web development. So, so what is web development? Web development is like building websites for the web internet. It's just that it's just simple. So uh, it all started with this guy called uh, Tim Berners-Lee as he is the inventor of World Wide Web. So uh, after his invention, the whole internet became more user friendly and you know, people could easily access the internet. So you could say uh, the World Wide Web, uh, World Wide Web as something that gave, uh, gave web development a kickstart. So uh, web development can range from building simple static web pages to something like complex web apps. So that's that. So uh, in the field of web development, it is divided into two phases: the front end and the back end. So the front end is what the user sees, and the back end is what the user doesn't see, like all, all the logic behind the system. So this is very important things you should know. So programming is not a talent. So it is it is a skill that anyone can acquire. So it is not for only for the smart people at like IITs or MITs. It's like anyone can do it. So you know if you know someone who can do really good good at programming and better than you, it is just that he or she has done more work than you ever did. So anyone can do programming. It is not that only some can. So uh, things to focus on. You should just focus on the fundamentals when you start out. And later, you will you will learn by yourself. It, will, it, is, it, is, a, uh, it's just, it is like that. You will you'll know once you learn, once you start learning. So uh, what are fundamentals? You know, fundamentals are like HTML. You know, these are the basic stuff. Uh, and uh, it will it will be ex explained in greater depth in the practice session, but I'll just give you an overview. So it is divided into three types like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. 
So like HTML is a heading, paragraph, and list, and what uh, the basic structure of a website, and CSS is like color, and how you see stuff, and JavaScript is all dynamic, pop-ups and stuff. So everything will be explained in the practical session. This is just an overview. So uh, so this is an example of JavaScript. On your right is the logo of JavaScript, and on your, uh, on your left is the logo of JavaScript, and the right is things built with JavaScript. These are called frameworks. So, so once you learn the JavaScript, frame, uh, JavaScript, you can uh, you can jump to frameworks. So, uh, this is why I recommend learning the fundamentals first, so that you can learn more advanced stuff later. So that's it. So, what is a framework? Framework is just uh, more computer code that makes it easy to build apps, web apps, like uh, all kind of web apps, like Facebook, YouTube, or whatever. So, uh, so you can learn everything. Just focus on what you want. So you should pick a technology based on what you want to do rather than trying to learn everything, uh, unless you are some kind of hacker who might want to learn multiple technologies. Okay. So this is also an important thing. So you can learn anything you want for free. So in this programming and software industry, most of the things that you see and learn will be yourself. So. So as technology changes fast, you might learn. You might want to learn even faster. So you have countless of learning resources like Coursera, YouTube, and other sites. You you can even find paid courses for free. I think so. Even if you just have to look for them. Also, uh, you can learn from YouTube or other sites. The only downside is that you won't be getting any certificates. But uh, try not to run behind certificates and focus on developing your skill because. It is more important. So that's it. We jump now. We jump to the practical session. Okay. Hello. So that. Yes, you're audible. Audible. Hello, I'm Siddharth. I hope I am audible. Can someone respond, please? Yeah, yeah, yes, you are audible. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, so guys, before starting with anything like web development, like in my initial years of college, I wasn't aware about this, what is web development, how to create websites and all other stuff. So I attended a lot of workshops and courses. So uh, the prettier thing is that um, VS Code is like a code set, a setup editor, which is used for like coding everything, like from C, uh, C++ to HTML, CSS, React, and all other things. So most of the people directly after this introduction session, they go into like the basics of what is HTML, head, and all other tags. So before that, I want to show you some like the VS Code customization, like how to make your VS Code something more prettier and to for easy to use for you. So like, okay, one sec. Yeah, here's my VS Code. Okay, these are some works which I've been doing. So I will just close it up. Okay, so for our uh, workshop session, uh, like some extensions are required. In the prerequisite, we said that uh, VS Code and Live Server extension was required. And I hope uh, all of you might have installed those same. Uh, because uh, I want you to just go in hand in hand with me. Otherwise, there will be a lack, uh, a gap between us. So that's why I asked you to install these things earlier. So afterwards, like in the when you go to Visual Studio Code, you can see uh, see here uh, like a box with a uh, extension symbol over here. Uh, now I'm like uh, like the in VS Code, you will have some three different themes like for the new update some dark light and ultra light uh, dark uh, ones but i love to use this cobalt to theme okay i here it is i love to use this thing because it's something uh, it's uh, enhancing for me i love this thing to use so it's your option to use uh, it's your choice whether to use this theme or not and the other thing i want you to install is this browser preview okay here 
actually I have installed all these things so I want you guys to install this browser preview because like uh, when we are coding in VS Code and after saving those files we go into our folder and just open the browser like I'm using the Brave browser you might be using Google uh, Chrome so you can see all the changes and the kind of web page you have created in Google browser uh, by opening the browser but with the help of browser preview you can see all the changes direct changes what you're doing in VS Code uh, like uh, it creates a panel, a new panel of uh, uh, browser here in, inside VS Code itself. So it's useful for that purpose. And uh, live server, I already told you guys. Uh, so it's like, uh, I'm, I, uh, in the other stages, I will tell you that what's the use of these things and why we are installing these extensions. Not just for this workshop, it will benefit you in the future to when you are going to your college and doing some uh, stuff like this. So afterwards, like there is one uh, extension which I like the most that's advanced new file. Okay. Uh, okay, this advanced new file here it is. Okay, you can install it and its use is like uh, settings. When you go to settings and then command palette, Okay, if you just type here, uh, in, uh, not in the command palette, like in keyboard shortcut, sorry. And if you type here, advanced new file. Okay, you can see here, and you can create a shortcut yourself, like I want to open a new file while I'm doing a code, and I've completed the code of that file, and inside that folder, I want to open, uh, I want to create a new file. So instead of just clicking uh, just with the help of mouse and going to like clicking on the folder and then just creating a file inside VS Code, here it is. I have created a shift plus N. Okay. After enter word, after entering it, when I open a folder and like, for example, I am opening a folder uh, like here. Okay. Any folder. I'm just, I just open this folder and uh like i want to create a new file over here so just directly shift n and here it is like these are the paths which are giving like workspace root path it means that you are inside your main folder and you can create a file over there so it's showing that like if i am having a folder means a nested folder means a folder inside this folder then it will show all those folders which are there and i can create the new file wherever i want to with the help of this advanced new file and its shortcut so that's the basic thing I want to tell, which will help you guys in this workshop. Now, starting our coding, like uh, how to create a web page uh, means web development. So for that, uh, I hope you might have downloaded the images, which uh, Pranav uh, means the coordinator send you through the mail. Uh, like it is uh, very much useful for you guys. If you want, really want to do the hands-on and try with me, then those images will help you out because I don't want you guys to just look on for images and waste your time. That's why I provided it a bit earlier. I hope uh, you might have in, uh, in, uh, downloaded those. Can anyone respond? Anyone has downloaded or it's just like uh, I want a two-way communication. Please respond. Means like uh, if it's one way, then there's no use. So you can ask doubts anytime. And there is no means, uh, don't hesitate. First of all, don't hesitate to ask your questions or something. So uh, I hope you might have installed. So like I'm creating a new folder over here in my desktop. Uh, like I'm naming it like web development class. Okay. Okay. And afterwards, like I'm, uh, I don't have any file over there inside this um, folder so like then how i'm going to create everything so like i want to first of all uh, paste all those images and all the, all of the steps which i want into this folder so like i already have those images so i just copy paste and if you have if you guys have downloaded please do the same just go and copy those images in this images i mean that you should create a new images named folder which will make your work easier because like if you are adding the full uh, images in your website and uh, you know, like typing all those things uh, again and again 
you just go to this path and choose whichever image you want to so that's why i created a new folder name images okay so if you now we want to start the coding the coding section like the first page so the file which i am going to create i can create it here itself okay otherwise i will like go to vs code okay uh, from here in the files i will open the folder which we created like the web development class okay and this i will select that folder not the images one the web development class folder okay okay here you can see just this images folder inside this web development class and when you click the down arrow button you can see all the images present here which we uh, which we require for this class so i will just quickly close this getting started and inside i will inside this web development class like i want a new file and uh, when the beginners are starting with the web development i just suggest them to mean mention and name your file like if you are creating the html file just name it as index rather than giving any other name just name it as index so here we will create a new file um, index .html. okay you can see a new file getting created uh, created over here okay okay uh, like it's created and sorry just a second okay uh, having some issues i will just create a new text document over here index and in vs code i will just go and just rename it uh, rename it because it's i just want this to be an um, index.html no, no txt to be provided okay now it's fine it's perfect the index page is created now the index page is created the other thing i want is like um, if you are writing all of, all these things like the uh, content we want what all contents we want in this website uh, it won't get styled automatically we have to style it ourselves so for that styling we require this css css means cascading style sheet so for that purpose we require css so okay i will create another file uh, name lit uh, style dot css okay so uh, i'm i'm uh, repeating it again like when the, uh, when you guys are starting i think most of you might have heard about this vs code uh, or some present in this class might have even used it but for the uh, beginners uh, just start with your the files like the web files html file to be indexed and the css file to be named as style uh, instead of giving any other names it would be perfect Okay, yeah, like okay, so these two files are created. Okay, like now uh, starting with the index.html page. So first of all, like what is the main syntax and how do we start with it? So here, here this is the starting line means top type HTML. What does this mean? Okay, it's basically giving an instruction to the browser that the kind of the file which they which we the users expect. Okay, so we want an HTML like the website type file. So that's where doc type HTML is required. I think the font size is okay. Can anyone respond whether to increase it or not? Hello. participants please do respond because i want your i, I respond means whether the font are okay or not because the, the class should be beneficial for you so it's you who should respond to everything okay 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 if you guys are having any doubts please so turn your mic and ask otherwise you can even chat i am also looking over the chat so i can even look out there 
if you guys are having any doubt at any, any point please don't hesitate to ask so afterwards this doc type html the next is these are the major means the uh, tags and the attributes that are already built in this html okay uh, like uh, uh, some like uh, many are the built in tags which will be coming further in the class so these are the starting ones which we require to start with our html page and the next is html uh, like these are the opening and closing html like we once open html so we want our html to be closed otherwise the uh, web won't work okay the website won't work properly and next is like and the all other things like the if we want a image or a paragraph or a points anything now all those things has to be done in these two tags inside these like opening and closing of html inside this we will be doing all of the stuffs so let extend the head, head tag okay and now uh, next step like after head what we are going to do so it's a uh, here's a tag named meta tag okay uh, i will type the code first and will explain you for the what this so what this code basically implies or what this signifies is like um it's initial scale okay uh, it's like the instruction which we gave to the browser that uh, viewport means name viewport means the viewable screen or the viewable side screen with the help of width means this much and like of a uh, before the invention of this phone and this some um, tablets and all other smartphone things we just uh, created it in the desktop manner so it's like we are giving the instruction to the browser the, uh, the web should be created in this manner uh, the width and the, uh, width should be like this and the initial scaling should be starting with 1 so it's a instruction to the browser afterwards like uh, when we open a uh, like here you can see the font uh, like google meet is open so you can see here meet is written and here font also is written so uh, uh, like these things will be written when you open when you open youtube.com so youtube will be written over here so how to bring those titles in your own uh, uh, html page your own website so for that we will be using the title tag okay and like this is a web class so i will be giving it a name web class okay uh, i will simply save it now i told you to install light server so can anyone respond that uh, whether you have installed this or not otherwise then there won't be point of uh, explaining that because you guys won't understand hello anyone please just respond either either you can switch on your mic or through chat whether you have installed it or not okay uh, so no issues no issues it's not a big deal okay uh, i will show you once again uh, please do uh, install it right now because it will be helpful for you guys uh, to understand in a better man like go with the extension symbol and search over the light server okay from here you can install this light server okay um now i will go back to my file the index file index page and here you can see this go live uh, symbol here after installation of this live server you can see this go live uh, it means that instead of uh, going to like when i go to the folder of web development class i can open here like i'm using the brave browser you you might be using google chrome so when you click over this it will just redirect to the web class and here you can see the web class written like the web development class written here over here so here you can see the web class which we gave the title name so you can uh, redirect through this browser from here otherwise the uh, second method is just click over this go live and it's starting and it's directly redirects to 
this web class means uh, instead of going to the folder and then clicking over this index.html file it directly gets you to the file which you have created right now okay and like uh, it's a task uh, means i don't like it that when you are coding over here then going to browser changing and see so it's some uh, i i feel it's a bit hectic one so for that uh, simplicity i am using the browser preview so like from here settings you can open command palette and over here you can search browser preview otherwise uh, there is a shortcut to open this command palette that is control shift p will automatically open instead of going to the settings and then opening the command palette you can go to this uh, control shift p you can use this shortcut and just search browser preview okay, you can see and okay and my extension is activating just a second it might open in some time okay so here you can see a uh, browser uh, previews open okay and it's uh, like redirecting to the visual studio page like from where you have downloaded the vs code so it's redirecting over here, there and now i want my like uh, the page like the web class which i shown you i want to see it here so for that what we'll do is just go to the browser and just copy this link and come back to vs code and just paste it over here just a one time process then it would be useful for you after you enter you can see the title web class which we gave other changes won't be seen here because we haven't done anything yet we just gave the title web class okay now uh okay now when we are doing things over html and we are styling it in css so how those styles will appear in the things which are present in html so for that we should have the linking between those two files for that we will be use this link tag link rel style sheet because css is style sheet uh, it will be quotes style sheet and then href href is a linking attribute a href but here we just only want the href tag so href and the thing and the file or like for example uh, i am just linking uh, about uh, i am li like creating a page about html and i want to create a uh, link that index page with the about page for that i will be copying the path of about page over here but now i want to link the style file with the index file so for that i will just simply write style dot css it just absolutely appears over here when you write style dot so in this manner you can link this index and style with each other and the next thing is uh, we want some more linkings and some more other things but uh, for uh, this for, uh, right now we just require this afterwards in the further in, in today or tomorrow i will be telling you how to uh, put over all the other links that we require for the website okay now starting over with the after this closing head we require the body okay in body the basic things like uh, all the contents and all the sections of the website we will be creating inside the body so like for example i want to create a header header section okay uh, like when you go over them okay just a second like this the nav bar and these all are the header sections okay and then comes some other content sections below and like this, this is the footer section so we can uh, split our website into some sections like header uh, like we are uh, today i'm going to tell you how to create a basically educational website so uh, like i'm going to split it in like header section and the course campus facilities testimonials like four to five sections are there so first like i will be creating over section name header so header is all automatically a tag over here which you can create uh, it's a built in tag for html otherwise the one method is like you can create a section okay uh, like i'm just simply giving this a section okay nothing else uh, i will tell you later why and here i am writing h1 okay and i am giving the name like uh, something like educational website okay. 
I'm giving this the name digital website. And when I just save this, you can see the digital website over here, which we wrote. And now I want a text under uh, beneath it. I want another heading like um, I'm creating another section, and I want it to be a first class. Okay, in H, sorry, in H1 itself. Uh, first class, okay. And when just as simply, okay, you can see our first class. And like, I want to change the color of the second one with red, okay. So for that, I will go over to the style.css and starting yeah. like this is the starting of css like first of all we will be giving margin zero and the padding also zero so what is this margin you might be thinking what is this margin and padding okay okay it's okay so what is this margin and padding so like uh padding is something like spacing if you want to create a space between this educational website and this uh, margin. So you can use padding over there. You can either use margin too, but uh, padding would be much better because you, uh, you're creating a space between or like you're creating space between two sections. So then also you can use margin padding over there. And margin is this, these are the four margins over us. And padding's also you can do top, left, right, bottom. So this is starting of a style, which we give that margin zero and padding zero. So till here, any doubts to anyone, please do ask. Hello, any doubts to anyone, please just do, uh, do respond. Okay, I will move on then. Uh, like we created two sections. Okay, so here the name of the first section, and I am giving the color it as black. Okay, and then the other section uh, as mm, color it's red. Okay, and then color C. I just wanted to change the color of the second one, but the color of both the headings have changed. So how to just uh, solve it and how to just make it like the color of the first one to be black and color of the second one to be red and how to make it. So for that, we will be using a attribute name class. Okay. And I'm giving it like the class name black. So what this class simply do is it specifically defines that uh, if you are styling for that, if you are styling for the black class, it will just style the particular components and all other things of that black class only. And if I'm styling the red class, then it just styles my red class components only. So I will just change over here. No effects will be seen now because we haven't changed the styling. And in CSS, to denote a class, we require a dot. The dot only we denote a class and like black and here dot red. Let's see now. Okay, see the color has changed. The first one is black and the second one is red. Is the usefulness of the class like uh, class is particularly used for this purpose? So I just wanted to differentiate that. Why that's why I created two sections, but. For the time being, we just require only one section. I delete the number and just, okay, that's it. Now, what we have to do in this? Uh, so the first, uh, the class name I'm, give, I'm going to give is not the black, rather our first section would be header, header section. Okay, now in the header section, I require like a background image and the nav bar and all other things. So for that, we now we need to require a nav bar. And I'm not adding any heading over here. I will just simply remove it. And in the uh, here also, I am just going to remove these things. I don't want it here right now. So okay, finished. 
So let's move on now. Uh, now, how to create this nav bar and all other things? So how? Okay, so there's a tag named nav which is used for nav bar, and uh, you with the help of this you can create a nav bar. Otherwise, uh, like you can use div. Okay, div class. What is this div? It's like uh, one second div nav class class nav bar. And here I'm just closing it with this div. Okay. Okay, so what is the difference between this div and section? Why I'm using a section and a div? Oh, so what all these things are required for? Section is like the contents will be grouped and uh, the contents is that the section will be grouped and it will be dis displayed as a out in the outline of the pages. And div does not have a specific meaning, means it does not imply or specify something like uh, it's the parent for like title. Or the class attribute. So for those things, we can use we can use anything, uh, either section or div. But for like, we have to create uh, three different sections of the page. Then section would be comfortable. But inside the section, we want to create another two sections. Then div. We can use div over there. So that's uh, for that reason, we use section and div. So here simply, I will just use nav because I am having the tag name nav. So I will be using that instead of this. Okay, and I will remove this view over here. I'm just going to remove this. And I think that's perfect. Okay, so inside this nav, now what all things we require? The uh, nav links like home, about, course, and all other things which we see in a website, in a simple website, the nav links. And the other thing is like the logo of the website we are creating and uh, for some like we can uh, just make the pages blank or either we can add images in that pages too so that those are the basic things which we are going to do over here so like now i'm going to add an image for that i am the frc setup okay for adding of an image and now uh, i want to add this logo over here in the nav bar okay for that my logos uh, present in this images folder okay so like uh, you can see this is my logo so it's present over here so how to put that logo inside this html for that we require the path of the image okay uh, like images slash Slash. You can see the list of the images which are present in our folder. So we are using this logo image, logo PNG, and just there is no closing uh, tag for this closing of this image. It's just auto close. Uh, no closing is there for this IMG. So it's done. Now let's see what happens. The logo is here. Okay, but. It's uh, size is big. It's not auto style, and all other things are not done with this. Okay, uh, we will do it one by one. How to this like um, style this for that? Now I'll, uh, just add like some links over here. How to add those links and all other things for that? After this image, I will be creating a div name nav links because. Okay, and it's uh, that. So why nav links? Because uh, like why another div? The reason is I'm creating a division inside this section. Like inside the nav, I'm creating a division for especially for nav bars. That's why I'm using this div tag. Okay, uh, especially for the links like home, about, and all of the things. Especially using those particular things inside the nav bar, that's why I'm creating a new division because it will be much simpler to do in that manner. And now, like, what is this UL? Okay, why UL is using and what's the full form and what's basically UL is used for? Like, uh, and I will show difference of two things UL and OL. Uh, the time being, uh, just wait for some time, I will show that too. So, what is this UL? UL is like unordered listing. 
okay uh, if you want to create a list of some five topics like home about course and all other things you can just include those things in ul tag okay it's perfectly all right and it's very much easy to be done like that and when we use the ul i will just show one example like ul and li means the list the, the topic which are we going to create it a main nav link the first nav link which we are going to make and why this a you might be asking why this linking over here and i'm not going to give any path over here because this is the home page and the first tag first nav link i'm giving is home so whether uh, you can give error index.html and when you click on this home you will just redirect back to the index page okay and if i give an example like uh, for this li Okay, I just copy pasted it. Okay, now I want the second nav link to be like about. It. And from the index page, I want to go to about page. For that, I will be using about.html. But for the time being, I'm not giving anything because no other pages are in, uh, created other than index and style. So there is no point of giving this about.html because nothing won't affect. There will won't be any effect over over this, so that's why I'm just making the uh, putting this as blank, okay? And now see what ha what happens like when you just refresh it. Okay, and this home and about will come, and like it comes as a link, like nothing will happen when you click over home or about. Nothing will happen, and when we just put this as OL. Uh, the numbers would be there, like one home and about, like I will just show it happened in the browser on, let's see. Okay. Okay, uh, like uh, one dot home will be coming and two dot home will be coming if you use OL. And OL is like order listing. Unordered listing dots. These are bulletins will be there. And ordered listing, the one, two, three, the numberings will be there for that. And like, I'm giving this, I'm just creating home about and some other more, like five nav links will be there for this. Okay, I think it's okay, it's pretty good. And now I'm giving like a page for course page and the blog page. And I think the last one, the contact. Uh, this is not required. So, okay, uh, like it's not required, but can be used in the future and I don't want to delete it. So what can we do? We can make it as a comment. And like commenting in HTML is done in this manner. That start with this arrow and then exclamation and double mark. And the closing in the similar manner. Closing will be done like Double dash and all. Okay, it's it's only this line has been commented, rest has been as it is. So okay, you can see home, about course, blocks, contact, all the five nav links are present here. Now, uh, how to just uh, like um, make it beautiful and how to uh, like uh, means how to just uh, make it simple means responsive. Responsive means how to make it just a beautiful manner like uh, when you open a website all the nav links might be in the right uh, left or right and there will be a like menu bar to click and the nav links are here so some things are there and how to do that so we will be doing all these things with the help of style okay so the first thing which i'm going to do is style the head header section because Header section is the parent of this uh, first nav bar, uh, like the nav, and then uh, image, nav links, and all of the links. It's the uh, parent structure for this parent uh, class for this uh, uh, th these things. So we will be styling first of all the header section. 
and i told you that uh, to make your website some more beautiful you should add a background image to this in the header section and how to do that so that's very really simple huh? uh, like i want to just give the minimum height uh, to be 100 pixels 100 pixels okay uh, now there are many just commands like this 100 vs 100 person 100 pixel uh, 10 ems all all of the uh, point 0.5 ems all of the things are there so what's the difference between these ps is like the in the vertical manner hiding and per and the difference between percentage em and pixel is something like percentage auto size the website means what you are styling like i'm styling this header and i'm giving you 100 percent so it will auto, uh, so it's the parent class so nothing would happen uh, bigger and like I'm uh, styling the nav and I'm giving there the minimum height like uh, instead of minimum height some padding or something like 10 pick, uh, 10 percent so it will like auto size the uh, nav bar according to the size of header because it looks over to the parent stack size okay so but in the case of pixel it just uses the minimum amount required the given amount it just uses that much amount of pixel but that's not the case as percentage any okay and like I'm giving it to you with a hundred percent now the main thing how to add on the back image for that we will use this attribute like the background you can see the drop-down list the background image and here I will be using this URL because my images uh, like the background is in images path so I will be using this URL to take my image from there so like images and uh, like I will be using this image uh, with con this banner image so I will be using that so the banner the PNG okay now let's see what happens okay it's there but it's not style it's not responsive nothing has been done there and it's some light too so uh, to bring out a shadow effect like a black background effect over it we will be using the linear gradient effect okay uh, forgot to ask any doubt still here means any clarifications or any repetitions to be needed please do ask Any doubts, please please do uh, respond in the chat. Any clarifications required or any repetitions, anything to be repeated again? Okay, I won't be having uh, like, uh, it's not difficult for me to repeat again, but from your side, I want the response, then only I can, uh, I will know whether I need to repeat the topic again and whether it's clear with you or not. No, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, so like uh, the linear gradient I was ask, uh, talking about. So what will be this linear gradient used for? So like, uh, we will be using linear gradient to ma majorly give a black shadow effect over this image. Okay, you can see an image over here. So we will be giving a black shadow effect over it and the rgba uh, like i will show you two examples these coordinates has to be just like uh, you can get the color codes from uh, internet uh, if you don't remember the color codes actually i am also a person who can't remember uh, all the color codes so for my reference i always prefer the css color codes like w3 schools they are providing all the color codes over there so you can uh, browse over there to see what are the colors you want to and what are their codes or directly you can just write the color to okay you can you can do it that way so that you choose whether you want to use the code or to write the color which you want okay and like bring this and it's done one sec okay i got it what's the error Okay, and I will save it. Okay, uh, it's a bit now darker than the previous image which we saw, like um, a black effect has been there. But I want to make it some more, uh, much better. Okay, for that I will be using, I will change the color code simply, okay.
okay uh, the color codes can be remember, like you can't learn the color code if someone is teaching you or like you have to do it and uh, get yourself known that uh, what color i want what all uh, specifications i need in this website it, uh, the color codes and all of the coordinates you have to get it yourself if, like i am uh, explaining you guys we are giving you a workshop but not just this three day workshop you can't learn how to get the coordinates by yourself Uh, it's like a series of practice when you just do on this open source projects or just create websites you get to know yourself that yeah this is the perfect coordinate i want this but in the first time in the uh, first go you can't get the correct coordinate by doing it and saying it you get the perfect coordinate so uh, it it can be done by yourself uh, here just the difference is like what are the uh, major basics and ba ba uh, major things required the tags attributes and all of the things required to create the website i am telling you and the rest the coordinate system and the color codes you can check out the references for the color codes and coordinate system by practice only you can get it uh, okay i am giving the same coordinate over here and i will just save it okay now it's like some more shadow effect has been there okay now i just simply want this to be like the position to be cover like not the full uh, i don't want this image to be totally in my website not in my whole website I, i don't want this image i just want in my header section okay for that i will just use this background size to be cover and the position to be like position of this background to be i can see position x and y you can see over here but i just want simple background position no x no y because i'm not giving like the x coordinate y coordinate i'm not doing anything over there i'm just giving this background position and i will just make it center okay and the position of this this is the background position uh, you should be clear about what is this background position and what is the simple position okay the background position is this basically the position uh, which you are giving to the image we placed over here the background image and the position is for the whole section of the header the whole section header section we are giving the positioning uh, to that uh, header section and i will give it as a date okay let's start and let's see okay uh, now it's in a better size but uh, i want to make it like i will be adding some more sections over here like the course and all other things so i will be making it some more in a better manner i will do that so further moving on okay now like i want to this uh, make the image like the nav image the you logo you can see over there i want to make it small because it's not looking that much good when you browse over a website you won't be seeing that the logo is such a big thing uh, yeah logo is there but uh, it should be in a visible manner dot like uh well like in the big size you can you are seeing here so for that what i will do is now because i am not placing any dot over here because it's not a class it's a uh, tag which we are using nav tag and now i want to just change the logo the uh, positioning of the logo and the sizing so i will be using nav img because i'm changing the image okay. and it out still here sir one more uh which topic can you please specify so that i can repeat it again mohammad can you please repeat uh which topic i should uh, can you say the topic which i have to repeat again okay so the difference between vh and percentage okay got it okay so the vh is like we are uh, uh, vh is some sorry okay vh is something like uh, the uh, background image is given and we are providing a vertical uh, height vertical heighting is giving to this background image that purpose we are using vh okay but in the case of percentage percentage is like 
uh, in this case, in the header case, header is the parent of all this nav, nav links, image, or all, all other things. So header is the uh, parent of these things. So we are changing anything like we are using any percentage in this nav on the nav links. So it automatically auto size like the nav, uh, like we are using padding two percent or padding zero percent, padding six percent. So padding would be done on the basis of the tax size of header if you are giving the percentage. So that's the difference between uh, this percentage and views. I hope you got clear whether I should repeat it again. Okay. Fine. Okay. So I was talking about how to this, uh, like change the size of the image, how to resize it for that. I am just nav image. I like, I'm just giving the width of this image to be like a hundred pixel. Let's see. Okay. Now it's too small. It's okay. It means when you browse websites, it's completely fine. You can, uh, we just want to see the logo, like we don't want to be too much big. Okay, uh, like I will just make it some more bigger, 120 pixel, and it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Now, no need to like uh, make it much bigger. And I would just love to shift it some, uh, left its, uh, shift its position. And, okay, so you can see the margin left. So the attribute I used over here, margin left, it's like shifting the image from the left 30 pixels. Okay. 30 pixels manner. It's shifting the image. So, uh, I just wanted it to be in uh, means like it was very much close to the band, uh, to the margin. That's why I shifted it. Now it's looking good. And like now, uh, it's pretty much awkward to see this home of our course and it's not even visible over there. Okay, uh, so now I want to style this. Okay, I am going to style this home about course and all other sections. So what to do that? Okay, now uh, I'm using nav links. Can anyone please tell me that why I'm using here dot nav links instead of just nav links? Can anyone please? You guys are not responding, so please, uh, anyone, please switch on the mic or either through the chat. Please respond. Class, okay, okay, Mohan, good. I think you got the idea. So, yeah, navlinks is because uh, dot navlinks because it's a class. It's not just a simple attribute or tag, something like that. I'm using here the navlinks class. So I'm styling it first because uh, it's the parent of this. Uh, you will ally these nav, uh, here, the home of our post blocks in contact. So it's the parent for the, uh, this, uh, these nav links and it's a class name. Okay. okay. Now, first of all, I would be aligning this to be right. Okay. And X would be one. Okay, so what's this place like uh, we are having an attribute like I just forgot to style the nav because nav was the uh, like uh, parent for this image links and all of the things so I forgot to uh, style that nav so like I'm giving this a display of flex okay so what is display flex like we are having many uh, like display options like flex in line in line block flex box many other things many op options are there and flex is particularly like i want this to be in a box uh, not in a box manner like in a straight line manner and that too in the left of the uh, in the right of the page, sorry the right of the page for that positioning i'm using display flex and here i'm giving it the dimension of one okay and now i'm using the padding like Two percent and six percent, and like justify content. So it's one of the attribute. And uh, like I'm giving space between. You can see these three options: space between, space, uh, space around, space evenly. What's all these things? I'm sorry. I'm using space between instead of okay, space between. 
So, what's the difference between the space between, space around, and space evenly? It's simply like that. Uh, it's giving the spaces between these nav links. Okay, its content is giving the spaces between the nav links, and like if I'm giving the space around, so it will be giving the spaces like around the images, around the links, like with the shifting of the banner and something over that. Uh, okay, I hope. So justify content and just uh, like space between space and space evenly is like giving even spaces between all these things. Uh, is uh, so that's basically what justify content we use for and all of the th options of space between space evenly and space out. And now I'm just aligning the items center. Okay, now I'm like uh, giving the height just to be 100 pixel. Height of this nav, it, it means that it's creating the height of the nav bar. Okay, and when I, okay. Like you can see now, uh, first uh, in the starting, you were not able to see these dots over here. Okay, so when I use the UL, uh, so you can see the dots, and, and I will also show with OL too. Okay, now you can see here the numberings one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here we need, need you well. So I will shift back. Okay, any doubts in this UL, OL, and all other things? Okay, I will move further. So now, like, I want to just style this home about course, blogs, and contact. I want to style this how how to style those things so for that i will be using dot nav links li okay so uh, like nav links ulli so i'm just styling this uh, li uh, like the home about course and we are styling those things so that's why ulli is required over here because when we style the image we used nav image and when we just style the header dot header, and when just we style nav only nav, and when just we style nav links, but here we want to style these text, so that's why ULLI is required. And first of all, I will change the color because it's not even visible over here, so I will just change that. Okay, so the dots are there, and like the text decoration to be none. And I will just increase the font size too, up to some 15 pixel or some, uh, like, okay, I will just increase to 15 pixel. And the margin also, I will shift something to 30 pixel from the right, because I want to shift it from there. Nice, okay, now it's shifted. Okay, it's sized. Now the size is also simple like that, and just the color of the dots changed, instead of text. That's because the text is like, we are providing the A tag over here, the link tag. That's the reason why the text color, all all uh, other things are like, it's just simple over there. It's not changed. So uh, what we'll do is, okay. Okay, now, now it's like, okay. But before that, I want to uh, style this to I mean, like okay. Uh, is anyone having any doubt? Okay, no response. Okay, so like I want to say, I have extended our time limit. It was supposed to be three three thirty. Uh, okay, so, so, so if you have any doubts, you can clear it right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, participants, please do get your uh, doubts cleared. The point at the time we are having. Yeah, yeah, she likes me. Please do ask. You can switch on your mic. There's no issue in that. Please switch on your mic and ask the doubt.
yeah actually i was going to uh, over that po point only how to adjust the dots the present dots so i think the time is over uh, pranav sh uh, should i continue the topic or uh, should it be resumed tomorrow uh, i think 5 min 5 more minutes it's okay 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 i will complete it before 4 okay okay like uh, now the list uh, like i was uh, going to tell you how to just uh, get this uh, rid of these uh, dots present here so for that we will be using this nav links ulli because because of li and ul those dots are present over there so we want to get rid of that for that we will be using list style to be none okay and control is the dots are gone okay but that's not an uh, like dots are gone Okay, we are uh, done with it. No, not like that. We want to uh, align these two, the uh, these links. So for that, we will be doing like display and inline block is the option which we will be given and like this. Okay, and you might think that why this contact is coming in the downwards. Okay, so the reason behind that is we have not. May, uh, made this uh, website as a responsive one for that uh, we have to go further we need some time for that and i uh, if the time uh, if the time is fine is if the time is okay like if i get the time i will also uh, try to make it responsive one i will let you explain what this response uh, responsiveness also and now i'm just like giving the padding between these links and like I'm giving it a 8 pixel and 20 pixel and I will just make it a position of relative. I'm not making things like if you go downwards you can see I'm not like making or like that. Okay now you can see the blocks are also downwards the contact are also downwards because of the increase in uh, first of all increase in port and second uh, the padding increases. So when I incremented the padding, so that's why the blocks and contact all are down. So uh, if the time allows, I will also try to make it a responsive one. We'll uh, let you know how to get these things in a single one. I hope we can uh, pause our class for today. Pranav? Hello. Uh, Okay, so I hope she left me your uh, doubt cleared and got cleared. Any doubts? Not just she left me, any other participant is having any doubts, please do ask before leaving the class because it would be good for you if you clear your doubts today itself. Otherwise, for tomorrow, you might just forget what was your doubt and you won't even ask. I already told in the starting of the class, please don't hesitate. Please ask your doubts. Okay, the feedback form is there. Uh, Anisha, it's the top. Okay, Pranav sent it once again. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, I will send the uh, style file. Okay, uh, actually, uh, I will try to send it through the mail. Okay, with the help of coordinator, uh, we'll discuss and send it through the mail. Okay, so don't worry about that. Okay, anyone else? Any doubt? Okay, I want you guys to please switch on your mic from tomorrow because then, then only the class would be an interactive one. Otherwise, it's just it would just get bored for me and you. Too. Okay, I, uh, okay. As uh, Pranav, some two to three people are asking for the style file. So, uh, let's plan it out and send it them through the mail. Okay. Yeah. Yeah we, we, yeah, we can plan it tonight and we'll send it to the middle. Okay, okay any, any any other doubts other than this style file? Any topic doubts? Any Anything else? Yeah, if you have any doubts, okay. Thank you, Shaheen. Okay, so wonderful words. Uh, I, can be much more nicer if you guys uh, interact with me more because then only uh, the class would be somewhere interactive otherwise yeah everyone would get bored so some of you please switch on your mic from tomorrow 
that would be great. Uh, but uh, thanks for attending this, uh, this uh, workshop conducted by CSI and the Department of Computer Science of Jodi Engineering College. And really, thank you. Uh, from next day onwards, do try to turn on the mic and please be more attentive. I hope I I made my points clear. I, I hope the topics are clear to you guys. If anyone having any doubts, please please put it on the chat. I will look on to that. So I think we can end the session then. Yeah, I think we can end the session. So can we end the session? I think uh, Bini, uh, let's ask Bini, sir, can we end the session or not? Uh, he left. He left. Okay. Uh, Miss, can uh, actually Reshma Miss is there. Uh, can we end the session for today? Yes, that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Miss, okay. Stop and after that, uh, tomorrow we will continue on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Siddharth, we can start the meeting then. Uh, we will start by the recap within the ten, uh, with the 10 minutes and then we can the rest. We can send them, send me as the Okay, uh, so I will start with the recap of yesterday's class. So instead of doing it in VS Code, I think like some may be having a compatibility issue with the using of VS Code. So for your ease, I will just uh, start with uh, notepad then I will switch on to VS code okay is there any issue in that like doing in notepad and uh, then going to VS code or shall I continue with VS code so uh, please do tell me your opinion can anyone please switch on your mic and do respond you can see 24 participants over here so any one of you can please respond whether to continue with VS code only or to go with notepad Okay, Sri Lakshmi is saying that she is having no issue. Uh, I want to know some more responses like, Alex, are you over there? Alex? Ah, uh, yes, I am here. Yeah, okay, okay. So what shall I do that? Uh, well, uh, should I continue with VS Code only or should I switch on to Notepad? Because some might be having issues with VS. Um, for second year students, VS Code is comfortable, but for first yeah. year students, um, um, plus two students, they're not, they're not be familiar with VS Code. So better yeah. go with Notepad, I think. If they're okay. having no okay. issue, then you can do anything. Okay, like I got uh, one response from Sri Lakshmi that, she, uh, that I can use Notepad. Okay, I like uh, uh, now you guys respond by your side. Like I uh, don't like th don't think that I will be asking you again and again. Uh, I won't take out anyone's name again because uh, I actually I did because he is my friend Alex. We are in the same college. That's why I asked him. But you guys, please do respond by yourself. Like you can see, twenty-five students over here. So please do respond. Switch on your mic. Don't don't just go on this stage for your attitude because it. It's not that good. Yeah, okay, we are all students, no teachers are over here. So please feel free to ask anything. 
Okay, I will go with the notepad then. Okay, so that I got your message. Okay, I'm using notepad. Okay, I hope my screen is visible. Can anyone please switch on your mic and respond? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, like I'm giving you the just quick recap of uh, yesterday what we did and all other things. So I like I might be asking some questions if you guys remember what I told. So uh, for that time I will be taking uh, either you guys respond by yourself or I will be taking out your name. So please be ready for that. So like yesterday I told you that for starting of the uh, HTML we will be using this doc file. So this is the first syntax, the first syntax statement what we are using for our HTML page. So can anyone please uh, remember from the yesterday's class and tell me that what is this doc type HTML used for? Please switch on your mic. Anyone, any one of you? Like, um, okay, I can see Albin over here. Albin, Albin, can you please switch on your mic and do tell what is this doc type HTML statement? Albin Matthew, please switch on your mic. Hello, Albin. Uh, I think your mic is on, but the voice is not audible. Hello. Okay, not only just Albin, anyone can respond. Like if you are uh, not that much comfortable using the mic, then please do chat over here. Okay, no issues, Albin. Then please do uh, over chat. Please tell me that what is this talk type HTML used for? Albin, please give your answer through the chat if you are having the mic issues. So I want to know the answer. Not Albin, then anyone else can respond. So starting a web page, okay. Like uh, the basic, uh, it's like giving the instruction to the browser, the kind of file uh, we required, the users required. So basically, for that thing, we are using this doc type HTML. So uh, now. Okay, so I can see that here in the VS Code we did the same like talk type HTML over here. So uh, I hope you got now you got the clear uh, perspective, the picture view of why talk type HTML is used for, and then the normal syntax HTML, and then okay, uh, like you can see here the indentations are given. Indentations are basically the spacing, like uh, for the neatness of your work. We give indentations to our files. Like uh, I think in C, uh, in your class twelfth, you might have done Python. If any computer science students might have, you might, guys might have done Python. So you guys Python and you guys have seen what's indentation there. Can anyone respond to the same? I hope I think you guys might be knowing what is indentation used for. Okay, guys, this way it's uh, difficult. I want you guys to respond. Please respond. It's, it's not today's session. It's just the quick recap of yesterday's class. So, uh, so me which language you have used instead of Python? Have you done any, uh, learn any language in your school or something? C++, okay. So you might have heard indentation there, the spacing. Okay, HTML, you have used HTML, okay, good. Okay, I can see there's only one girl is responding out of these 21 participants, so that, that's not good, guys. You should respond. Uh, uh, I, mean, I think like about in one to two months you will be joining your colleges, so please do respond over here. Okay, like without wasting much more time, I will just go and uh, like I'm not giving any indications away. I'm just doing the proper like this way, notepad. Okay, afterwards head we are giving and inside head like uh, I told you that there are two things 
two tags. One is the meta tag, and one is the char set attribute for the same. Uh, the char set comes from the character set attribute, uh, like it's the combination of character set. So uh, it's combined with char set, and char set we are giving UTF eight. It's, it's like Unicode transform format eight code. It's giving like all the necessary symbols and expressions, all the universal symbols and expressions, can be taken with the help of this statement meta char set UTF eight. And uh, we I and I also told you one more uh, statement that meta name view code uh, content equal to I hope you guys remember the statement we used yesterday over here after this head tag. Okay. Is anyone having any doubt? Like. Yeah, exactly. Pram, you are saying correct. Yeah, it's not an uh, usual online class. It's just a normal one-to-one uh, -one interaction workshop. Like uh, you guys can freely ask anything to me. I'm just like a student. I'm like student, so I'm in my second year. I'm like you guys only. So that's uh, that's the main reason. You you should ask me anything about this the, about the same I'm teaching you guys. So please feel free to ask anything over here. Like about the topics, I can repeat. I already told that repetitions is not a big problem for me. I can repeat it n number of times. I will be happy for that if you are if you guys are having any doubts and you are asking for the same. So please do ask. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys remember the statement which we used yesterday. Like meta name viewport. Viewport means the variable scale port. Of the screen which we are using, like I'm using the screen, so it's giving a statement to that uh, my screen should be a viewable screen, and the content it's automatically taking the content and the initial scaling of the screen, uh, like this, I'm giving the default scaling screen value is 1.0, so it's the uh, it's like the initial statements which we are giving to our browser. So these are the instruction statements which we use to give to the browser that the content should, uh, the device which should be this one for our content, and the initial scaling uh, should be this one. Afterwards, which uh, the tag which we used was title tag. I told you that there are two things like a closing and an opening tag. I'm oh, sorry. So these are the same, the title, closed, and opening tags. This one, the opening one and the closing one. And uh, like I told you yesterday, you can see over here, it's written meet. So to give your web page a title which you want to, you can give it over here by like using the title tag and I'm giving here web design. Okay, so uh, like the title tag was used for this purpose. And then we used, like I told you that when we are doing uh, a web, we are creating a web page, we require some like, uh, for the styling of all the HTML pages, we require just one page, like style.css. We only use that one page, which you can see over here, the style.css, but you can create uh, n number of HTML pages which you wish to like, uh, it depends on the type of website you're creating. Like if you are creating a single page website, then you can use a single HTML file like the index.html file and give the linkings over there. And if you guys want to have two to three pages for your website, then you can create some more pages like uh, uh, like a home, about, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you can give it like, uh, an, uh, like it's your complete choice whether you want to have single page or multi page website. So, but for all those things, we will be using just one style, one CSS sheet. So that will be style.css. And the next process which we have to do is the linking of this HTML and style.css page. So, for that, we will be using the tag link tag. I think the font size is a bit small. I will increase it. I think 20 must be perfect for you guys. Is this okay or shall I increase a bit more? Can anyone respond? 
it's like i'm teaching you guys right now the static one not the dynamic one uh, uh, static ones are a bit simpler to creation okay font size is okay uh, i think sri lakshmi had the doubt of static and dynamic i hope you are clear sri lakshmi uh, can you switch on your mic and respond whether your uh, doubt is clear or not okay yeah uh, actually uh, the coordinator is saying like if you guys are having doubts then either if you are having problem by switching on your mic then please do the hand raise you can see over here the google meet i think most of you have used google meet so you know the raise hand option over here so please do that so that uh, either me or the coordinator get to know who is having a doubt so that i can clear their doubt okay okay so in the link which uh, we are using link tag for the linking of this style.css and the html page okay like okay no no issues no issues uh, sri lakshmi no issues if you are having problem to put on my mic uh, your mic then there is not a problem uh yeah actually i appreciate you uh, at least you are having doubts and you are asking it over uh, during the chat uh, most of you are not doing i am bit disappointed with that you guys are having doubts please do it over the chat okay i'm repeating it uh, many times please do so uh, without wasting much time i will continue like your uh, link well style sheet okay it should be in the double quotes style sheet and then we will be using the href attribute a href uh, a we are not using a is basically the anchor href tag which we use for linking of two pages to create a link which we we use this href but right now we are using the link tag over here so we don't require an a tag over here anchor tag so we will be just writing style.css with this i hope you guys are clear with this and like uh now i am not using any more links over here so i will be simply closing this head tag because all these things are inside the, okay i will just give okay uh, tab over here okay and then okay i hope this is fine you guys are clear what i am trying to do so like uh, the same the same process we are doing in html the indentation the spacing i am doing it in the notepad for your clear vision and simplicity so like i am not using any more links or title or something uh, in this head so simply i will be closing it like with the help of uh, head tag okay and now the opening of body the body should be open so the major things like what kind of sections do we need to create and all other things so uh, it should be done inside this body tag like body open and body close i am not going over detail i think you guys are clear with this day session about the section creation and their differentiation so like i would like to ask someone okay back the doubt um Okay, is Albert there? Albert, Albert, please turn on your mic. Yes. Okay. Like, I want to ask what uh, for? Uh, like, uh, I want to create two sections. Okay, and I want to style it. So, whether I, uh, what should I do to style? Like, one the heading I want to be black and other to be the blue. So, how to differentiate those sections? how to make it proper like other uh, like i am using two sections and then styling it with the help of section only then the process will not be done in a proper manner so what's the process to do to be solved please reply albert please say one more okay i am asking you that i like i want two headings over the web page and the headings should be two different colors one should be uh, black and other should be blue so how to do that like what tag and what kind of attribute should i use use font tag 
no for actually i just did it yesterday itself uh, while i was uh, differentiating like i can uh, phone tag is not the proper answer so i can see one more albert over here albert ready okay so let's make good the, yeah section tag and the it's a uh, tag is correct but uh, not just with the section i can uh, differentiate what i want like both the headings in the different colors not just with the section i use one more thing for the same so uh, like now uh, albert freddy is over here like i think two alberts are there albert are you over there please turn on your mic and answer what attribute should i use for the same Hello, Albert. Siddha, which Albert are you calling? Like I am asking that yesterday I told you that I want two headings. I just created two headings and gave it two different colors. So Sri Lakshmi told that the uh, section which uh, the tag which we required is section, but not just with section we can just style those things properly. I used the attribute with the help of section inside the section. So, so can you please? Uh, just get recalled about that attribute which I use for the same. You can use division. Actually, I'm not uh, like okay. I can create two headings with the help of section, but I want two colors for the same. Like uh, if I use both the sections and style it, but the color won't be seen. It like so uh, uh, using yeah, class. I use yeah exactly using class. Good. Thank you, Albert. Okay, uh, like you can you can use class and uh, section class, and then you can color the headings in two different manners. So that one thing I told you, and in that manner I like I told you how to create nav bar and the nav links, how to style all those things. So I think the time has exceeded a bit. It's two fifty. We have to finish our class by around three forty five. So. uh do i need to just recall all those things uh, yes yesterday's all those session things or just start on with the new session today's session uh what you guys want anyone please respond what shall i do okay you want the whole repetition okay uh which uh Okay, silent heart. Can you please turn on your mic and tell me which part do I need to repeat? Like the whole part repetition, it will take much time. And today's class will just get over with that thing only. So if you tell me, I will. Okay, okay, okay. So repeat today's. What I am not understanding. What you want? Like what? Just uh, like I told everything right now, I have to repeat that, or will we start with the today's session? Anyone, anyone, please respond. Whether to start with today's session or to repeat some parts which you are having doubts. Okay, I like. Okay, I would start with today's session without wasting much time further. Like I hope you guys are now a bit comfortable with um, a notepad. Um, I mean, like the same way which we are doing in the notepad, uh, it's the same manner which in which we are doing in VS Code. It's just a differentiation. Like it's a bit beautiful code editor and it's a plain white text. That's the basic difference. And uh, here you can give any auto complete like options, but in VS you can give that. So that's the basic difference. I think I can start over with VS Code. and without wasting any time further like yesterday we created this nav bar like uh, just a second i will be using this in browser preview to show that and i will just go this live and use the live server and we'll just open up okay uh, like uh, at the end of yesterday session you guys have seen that the uh, blogs and contact like in browser preview it was like i will show it right now just to let it up and uh, 
control C and over there, control V. Okay, you can see over here the blocks and contact in the next line, but in the larger uh, view, the desktop large screen, you can see it like that. I will just do it in the uh, phone, uh, phone size too. Here you can see contacts in the next line. So these are the phone sizes. Like we use the term responsive. Uh, like when we are browsing a website in our phone, and when and then the same in the desk, uh, in desktop manner. So you can see the similarities into the just difference is that uh, the contents and the matters get shrink in the responsive manner. So for that we require some tags and uh, some attributes to be may uh, make our website responsive. If time allows, I will tell you that too. But for the timing, I'm just uh, telling you guys have to create a new session and like how to cre uh, create a heading over here in, uh, below this. So that's the next topic I'm moving with. So now like... Okay. Uh, after this, uh, like... Now, I will create a new div. Okay. Like I, I'm using this div because I want to create a division inside this section only, inside this ex header section. That's the reason why I'm using this div uh, uh, tag over here and class. Like I'm just giving it the name text. Okay, I'm just giving the name text and like I want to have a heading, a nice and beautiful paragraph beneath it and a button over there. So these are two to three things I want. So we will be looking uh, all uh, one by one in an easy and slow manner. So like, uh, do anyone feel speed with today's class? Please do tell me so that I, I can decrease the speed at that point where you want to. So till now, any speed, any like you guys are uh, having any problem with presentation speed or something, please do tell me. Like yesterday, uh, after the class, we were reviewing the feedback form. So someone t told me that like speed, presenting speed was a little bit speed. This was okay. So that's why I'm asking repeatedly whether the speed is fine or not. Or uh, to pay, uh, decrease the speed a little bit too. Anyone, please respond. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for the response. Like I'm happy that at least two to three people responded now. Uh, I want like this kind of at least I want two to three people to respond in the class. Then only the class will become some effective one. Okay, now I will be adding a heading over here like H1. And I will give it as India's biggest college. India's biggest and I will just save that and you can see this India's biggest college over here but it's not looking good and even it's not in the center and the font, uh, font size is also not big and the font color so some like drawbacks are there with this heading so we will be styling all one by one for that I will just do like uh, give a paragraph over there okay so that we can style everything one by one and uh, like i will give that uh come here and make a successful video with us okay i'm just giving this and i will just save it so you can see uh the difference of this header and p is that the header will have a bigger phone size and the p will is just a paragraph tag which we are using to create paragraphs for this header uh, beneath this header, we are uh, using this P tag. So that's the basic difference. And like uh, now, I want a button be beneath it. Okay, so I will be using. Uh, there are two ways. Uh, like you can use, uh, uh, like a button class, but uh, not button class. A button attribute is there. Like I'm just creating a button, and I'm just giving visitors to normal. Okay. Okay, I'm just saving it. 
you can see visitors to nomura but and has appeared over here but uh, over clicking that you can't see any underline or linking type things can't be seen over there so what the one thing i will do is i will just create a href over here like because i want the linking so for that you can use the a anchor tag attribute tag and i will just simply leave it like this because i am not giving any like particular context over this like i am not redirecting it redirecting it to any kind of uh, website or something i'm just giving it blank and i will just name this class to be button btn button class and that's all okay and in the end i will just one sec like i will just close it with like slash and you know it automatically it auto completes like this and the red it is showing here is because of this now it's perfect control s and you can see like the button has gone okay button has gone but it's like in the link okay okay so i will do one thing like uh, the other one was a bit more beautiful uh, okay i will just leave it the same i'm not doing anything okay now what i want to do is like i want to just make this thing a beautiful one like i want this to be in the center and paragraph to be a bit uh, the text of the paragraph uh, to be a bit a bit more bigger the font to be a bigger and the link to be visible like it's not visible at all uh, you can see it in the browser too like i will show it in the browser also bigger screen like okay here it is like this but uh, like i'm not satisfied with this one like i uh, it's not looking clear it's not that much um, prettier to be seen so that's why i will just style this i will just save this and in the style okay before going to style this header paragraph and the button i will just do one thing like i want to uh, first of all give an underline effect over here like when we click over the web when we go to a website and when we click over this nav links you might have seen some uh, underline effects or some shining uh, blinking effects over it so that effects are known as hover effects okay so we will be using a tag uh, attribute name hover for that what we will do is simply we will go and like nav links okay and you will align and afterwards we want to just uh, style this after this so and after will be used over there so uh, you might be thinking that what is this after after is like a pseudo element okay pseudo element of this style dot css it's a pseudo element uh, which we use either to like after and before or there so uh, you can use this after um, just sorry we need double dots over here for the after and after is like uh, after this you want nothing okay no contents or something like that you want nothing over there and uh, but i want to add a content so like i will just give it content and you want nothing so just leave it like this okay or in single quotes and this finished okay now no contents over there and the width will just be 0% because we are giving nothing to be that and the height will be increased by some two pixels Okay, I will be increasing the height by two pixel. Like now, the background. Okay, background. What I want. Okay, I will just background to be hash, and I will use this ff. Okay, four four three six. I think I might get the correct color. Okay, it's not proper one. I'm just sorry. I'm having. I'm facing a bit, little bit of net issues, and my lap is hanging a bit. So just wait for a second. I get resolved. In my... Okay, okay. Now it's okay. Hash f four four three six. F four four three three six, and I think now. Yeah, I got this color. it's like basically when we are making the website responsive so like when you uh, 
open a website in the phone, you can see a toggle bar over here. And when you click that, you can see some nav links like this. And it will be like in a different background, like some might be in the white, some might be in black. So for that purpose, I am like making this background over here. And display should be in the block way. I yesterday told you what's block, inline block, inline for the display, flex, flex blocks and all other things. I yesterday told you block is like uh, all the things will be in a line, in a vertical line and the background uh, it will be in a block manner, a square, a square or a rectangular manner and margin I am just giving the original margin that is the auto margin. Auto and transition to be now you guys might think why I'm using this transition transition is something like a kind of speed okay so I will just uh, make it a comment how to make a comment in this style.css so not like this in uh, C++ we make a comment like this but here uh, like in C++ we can make a single line comment like this uh, double slash but here like this the way which we do in C++ for the multi-line commands. Those who have used C++, they might know how to create com multi-line com uh, comments over there. So I'm just going to make this a comment for the timing because for your better understanding, um, one more uh, step has to be done. Like now, I'm I've used this after, but with the help of after, nothing can happen because uh, this won't like style or underline or something. For that purpose, we require this hover. Which I told you. Over. And then we will be using this after once again. So, and like, okay. And I will just simply make the underline bit to be something like 100%. Okay. 100%. And I will just simply, uh, like, I will show you both the changes for the timing. Let just it remain as a comment. Okay, you can see like it's uh, like not giving any uh, beautiful effect. Like the speed is not that bit much slow. The smoothness is not coming. Okay, for that smoothness, we use the transition statement, and I'm giving a smoothness it of 0.5 seconds. And then we save this, and you can see it's coming very slowly. Okay, a smoothness effect is now. Okay, uh, it would be better if I so, uh, show you in the browser. Like uh, you can see now. Okay. Blogs, contract, everything is having a beautiful and a particular way. Okay, so are you guys clear with this? Any doubts still here? Any doubts, please do ask. Okay. Other other ones, any doubts? If anyone is having any doubts, please do ask. Don't wait. Like don't wait. You can uh, pause me anytime and you can ask. Okay, I can see two to three responses. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, it's okay. Perfect. Okay. Like, uh, are you guys like uh, feeling comfortable by using this browser browser preview? I'm using it over here, or you want me to switch onto this browser each time? Uh, please tell me your convenient way. What should I do? Uh, like, you might think that it uh, it's, it like it's not looking good over there, the browser preview. So, what do you want? Whether to continue with this browser preview only, or to just close it and show you everything, every changes in the uh, main browser in the desktop manner. Both are okay. Okay, it's comfortable. Previous okay. Okay, fine. 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 Okay. And now I will be just uh, styling this header, like the header the p tag and this button i want to just style this so what should i do now 
so here i will be styling this dot text because it's the parent for those header p and uh, there's a button it's the parent tag for those things so i will be like with to be 90% oh, sorry 90% okay guys you i yeah, i told you yesterday it's all that uh, i'm using this uh, like coordinates and this pixel percentage everything so for that you need to practice it uh, like at least you have to do two to three projects to get your hands perfect with these things uh, so uh, don't just like feel sad or something like how can we do this how i am getting and you guys are not getting it's not like i got this in the one day i did i actually practiced it a lot then only i got just till now we have to do it many times and number of times then we get the perfect coordinates so that's a major thing which we face with this web so uh, in c++ also uh, the coordinates we can't fix it early itself we have to do we have to check out then only we just uh then only we can fix the coordinates perfectly okay so you guys can also do it in a perfect manner uh, for the timing just follow these things which i am doing and you can uh, create the same web page which i am creating now so i just want you guys to go hand in hand and after this class too if you guys are having any doubts like uh, ping us we created a group over there don't leave that uh, i create a whatsapp group so any kind of uh, doubts after these sessions too you can ping over there so don't uh hesitate like if you guys are having any problem during this meet not able to understand not uh like having any problem with this mic or something no issues ask doubts after the class in the meet in whatsapp no issues okay i will continue and i will just make the color it open to be okay hash ff is the color code for white or i can simply write it white okay the way i can use it so no issues Uh, like I will just make the position to be absolute. Okay, I will just make the position of it as absolute because, like, uh, I want it to be remain there. I don't want any, uh, like its position to be changed afterwards. Like I'm using this, so that's why I'm using this position absolute over there, and top is like fifty percent. And left also with fifty percent. Okay, okay, it's not auto. Fifty percent. And transform like what is this translate? And um, you guys, I think I will just complete the statement. Translate and minus fifty percent and minus fifty percent. Okay, yesterday we did this eight pixel, twelve pixel padding. Okay, you guys remember. So I will help uh, use this to make you understand this in a better manner. Like this, the first coordinate eight, eight, eight pixel. It's like the top and the bottom. Okay, the top bottom pixels it's changing. Okay, the padding of the top and the bottom, and the twelve pixel is the left and right padding changes. Okay, so for that purpose, we are using this eight and twelve pixel. The same is the manner of this minus fifty percent, minus fifty percent. Like, uh, not from here or not from this side, not from left or not from right. We just wanted to make it uh, as a translate manner in the center of the page. So that's the transform we are using for. And I will just make now the text to be in the center. Okay, text align to be in the center. Okay, now let's see what happens. Okay, now you can see everything is in same manner because we just changed the div div text, so everything changed out the heading, the paragraph, and the uh, visitors to know more link. Everything just came in this center page. Okay, now I want to increase like the uh, font size of this heading. So simply, I will do that. Dot text and h one. Why? Okay, because dot text is the parent class of this h one, and I want to particularly change the 
font size of h1 not for the p tag or not for the visitors to know more tags i am not changing anything like that so i am just wanting to change the font size of this h1 so that's the reason i'm using dot text h1 okay and i'm okay someone's mic is on is anyone having doubt Siddharth, are you having any doubt? Like your mic is on. Siddharth MM. Okay, okay. Okay, so I will just increase the font size. I'm sorry, just a second. Okay, 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 sir. Okay, so I will just increase the font size to eighty pixels and like. And let's see. Okay, it's a bit larger. And now let's see in the bigger view. Okay, now it's great, but um, I'm like simply just shifting it towards a bit from the left. So I will just do it because I think it's okay. Here you can see it's in the center, but I will just shift it from left to something like of a thirty pixel. Okay, now in the bigger view, let's see. Okay, now it's perfect, I think. And now I want to change this uh, color and the font size, everything for the P tag. So what shall I do now? Okay. Okay, so for that we will be using not text P. And I will just increase the font size to 14 pixel. Control S. Okay, it's uh, the font size is increased, but still, uh, like I will increase it to be something like 20 pixel. Okay, now it's okay, but in let's in the bigger view. Okay, now I'll just want do one thing. Like I'll close it up. Okay, uh, now I am audible, Pranav? Yes, you are audible. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I will repeat things which I said. Okay, I, I was just saying that I will just increase this, uh, not increase, I will just make this heading move to a bit top. Okay, uh, like... Okay, it's like something minus. Okay, the one thing which I forgot to tell you guys, like when you are using padding, you can't give negative uh, coordinates over there, like minus 30 pixel, minus 10 pixel. You can't give uh, those things over there. But if you are using margin, you can use those negative uh, things, uh, negative coordinates, like uh, your uh, heading is in 
something towards right and you want to move it towards left then you can use my mar margin left and minus of something the pixel you want to how much you want to move so that's one manner how you can use this negative coordinates in margin too so i'm like using minus 40 pixel control x and you can see it's moving top i want to move it a bit um, bit more top okay it's minus 60 pixel it's perfect and then like i will just go over here and you can see it's now uh, moved a bit up okay then i will continue with this and now i just want to change dot btn okay i want to change this how now like i want to be displayed as in line block i told you that uh, what's in line block like this this is in line block in this manner in this proper manner uh, but it would have been in a straight line it uh, like you guys can see in the desktop like it's in a straight line okay we can do this also as a straight line in the responsive manner and i just want the text decoration to be none like i don't want any kind of decoration over there and i will just make it as color of white um, and it's border to be border to be like what is this one pixel solid and i'm giving it white okay was this the border is like something one pixel the first attribute coordinate you are giving it's like the border of the statement which you can say visit us to no more it will be giving a border to this of one pixel and making it solid in a white manner okay for that purpose we are using this border and uh, it's padding to be like i am using this 12 pixel and 34 pixel okay i'm using this 12 pixel and 34 pixel top uh, bottom left right so this padding you can just simply like write padding top padding right padding left padding bottom you can do four different you can give four different coordinates by writing all the four things but i am just you can like write single coordinate like only just in padding you can like write only just 12 pixel or you can write like 12 pixel 0 pixel and then 10 pixel and else you can like write you want to give same padding to all the four positions so you can get just give the single one okay so you can give two three or single okay that's the, the main purpose and i am even giving two okay because uh, i want different uh, uh, paddings for top left and right uh, right bottom and now i will be making this background to be transparent transparent okay and i just want its position to be relative like it should uh, like stay over there and nothing just remains like that relative and now i want it to be like cursor pointer what this cursor pointer means okay so the cursor pointer is simply telling you guys like so the cursor pointer is like when you just point over here the cursor just points like this cursor pointer okay now i'm just going to save this okay now you can see this as a button okay <laughs> just to see let's see over that okay a button is coming over here too. okay so we will just remove that just a second guys okay so now i want like this to move a bit okay a move bit down so what shall i do now okay so what shall be the step to do that uh like okay one thing i will just give the go here so 
Okay, so let's give this button plus and see what happens. Okay. Button plus and over here. Slash. Okay. It just closes itself. You can see this. Fine. The other one is gone because now only it's a button. And now I want the button to move downwards like margin top. It's not printer, it's pointer. So let's and like you can see. The see the difference here, here, and here. Okay. And I will just make this to be margin from the top, like something of 30 pixel. So let's and you can see it's now downwards. And now going to the browser uh, stop you here you can see. And okay, I want to just uh, I will just increase the size of this P to a uh, little much big and make it also some downwards from the heading because it's very much very much attached to that. So for that, I will just increase the font size to up to like 25 pixel, and from the margin, I will just like margin top, or either you can give padding top, padding top, and like uh, some 20 pixel. Okay, Control S, and you can see the changes. Okay, I don't have to read uh, like uh, the. I uh, told you yesterday the main purpose of live server that you just do the changes over here and just go to the browser you can see the updates over here without even reloading so that's the benefit of this live server using for that purpose we use the extension live server I hope you got a clear picture view of the same and till here any doubts like do you want you guys want any kind of repetitions or something please do that Uh, then only I will move forward because uh, I want you uh, to know whether anyone is having any kind of any sort of thoughts. Okay. Uh, others also please, like say Lakshmi is saying she is having no doubts. Uh, others too want to know. So I want to look like some more responses. Okay, others, others also. Okay. Okay, someone please switch on your mic. Like, don't hesitate. Anyway. Like, uh, some. Let me see the participants. I will call out one. Like Emil, is Emil there? Emil Kitto. Emil, yes. I can see you over here. Yeah. yeah, are you having any sort of doubts or it's fine? It's fine. It's fine, okay. Okay, yesterday's class was okay, but you having any doubts? <laughs> Okay, so uh, without wasting any time, I will just move on. Like, okay, the header section is created now. Okay, uh, you can see the head is okay. I don't want anything over this header. I I don't don't want to change it. Okay, I won't do anything to this header. Uh, if, like in tomorrow's class, like in the end, I will just try to just make this this part. One thing responsive, okay. I will just try to make this one thing responsive, okay. Rest, I hope uh, you guys can do the same. Oh, okay. The responsiveness is done in the same manner. You just have to make sure what's the kind of uh, coordinates you are giving, okay. You just have to look over that. But syntax is same, okay, for uh, responsing all the pages or all the kind of sections you are creating. Okay, now the next part which we are going to create is like. Uh, now we are going to create a new section named as course section okay for that what i will do is i will after this section okay i will just give a comment named okay um, i told you how to give a comment like course section okay 
I will just give this section. Okay, I hope it's fine. And over here too, I will before this section, I will just give it a comment of. Header section. Okay. I will just give it header section. Okay. I think it's perfectly fine. And now let's start creating the code section. For that, I will create a section class equal to course. I'm giving the class name course. Okay. Like I gave the header uh, section class as header, and now I'm giving the class course uh, section as course. Okay, inside that I will be having one heading and like uh, two kind of flex boxes will be created. Flex box is something like uh, a kind of cards. Okay, like the flex cards you can see kind of cards will be created within which uh, we will be showing off what kind of courses we are offering like b -tech, M -tech, or all other stuff which we are going to do. So in the course section we will we'll be having this much of these. So now let's move on to that and like which one the courses we offer like the header heading we are going courses we offer and then beneath it I will be creating a div, a div class row and inside that div I am going to create, create another class as course column okay course column I am just giving it as so why these two and another divisions? Because I want to make it like properly responsive, row wise and column wise. For that purpose, I am just using this div class row and div class column. You can either give call or course call. Uh, like I am using, I am going to create two or three more sections, so I will be using call over there. So do uh, so uh, to let you just getting misguided. So I am just using this course call uh, class name over here, and now. Let's move on that what we are going to do over this. Like first I will be giving a heading named BTEC. Okay, and now the paragraphs like the kind of BTEC courses which we are bring the undergraduate courses. Okay, so like first is uh, civil engineering. Okay, I'm just uh, creating three more stops like you can create this p in two different manners i will be telling both the ways like i'm just creating okay i'm just using this and i'm like computer science and engineering okay now like mechanical uh, like you see Okay, I left on. I'm just doing this. Okay, now let's see what happens. Like you can see beneath this courses we offer BTEC civil, but it's not at all looking good. We will be styling this before the time being just like like this. Okay. Now, I told you that instead of using these P tags again and again and again, you can use just sing, use one single P tag and make these uh, statements in different lines. For that, what we are using is Okay, once again. Okay, so I will be moving everything back to the single statement. And this line two, and the last line. Okay. And the tag which we are going to use is BR. BR means break tag. Okay, after this mechanical engineering, there will be a break, and then in the next line, the EC engineering will be seen. So that's the difference why we are using this BR tag instead of uh, that's the main reason why we are using this BR tag 
instead of this n number of p tags because it makes our work uh, like untidy because a max uh, like a five to six p tags and in, uh, instead of one p tag with the help of br so this looks uh, looks like clean and neat so now here also br tag and here to after this i think i applied br tag over every br civil computer science mechanical okay okay it's fine okay we just gave four things and like see no change it's using br tag and four p tags differently it gives the same effect but this looks uh, nice this looks clean and if you use one more br tag after this uh, computer science and engineering it will give one more break like a space will be appearing now okay you can see a space between this computer and mechanical engineering will be appearing and that looks clean more clean so i will be using two br tags everywhere after this mechanical too okay so like um, these are the things and like we are having many more courses so like i will complete it instead of we see electrical okay and after this engineering like before ending two more br tags and like mechatronics onix engineering okay and like after this electronics and communication engineering i hope this much is fine with you guys any doubts please do over the chat uh, the coordinator will be seeing and he will respond to me i will come back to your doubts i hope this much is okay mechatronics electric okay now i'll just simply refresh this and you can see spaces after every single line okay is this okay fine any kind any sort of issues or something okay like uh, okay, i am not going to use any br at the end okay like Uh, one more be of for like two more courses like robotics and automation automation engineering and one more like artificial intelligence and data science it's also one of the courses which some colleges provide so like we are giving some four or six courses which we wide artificial intelligence and machine learning okay okay i hope this is fine anyone having any doubts please do respond participants any sort of issues please do ask <laughs> okay okay so i think i can move on okay the speed is fine or i am going in a bit hurry uh, is feeling something like that the speed is okay or not the speed is okay 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 fine 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 okay that is that Uh, it's about time yeah. for the session, so we can go for another five minutes and then end the session. Okay, uh, for, okay, we are having just five more minutes, right? Okay, it's your choice. A uh, participant, uh, do you want to extend the session for uh, five or ten minutes? Actually, participants, we are having time. Uh, like um, the Saturday Sunday sessions, we are okay, busy one, but 
for this weekend we are free so if you guys want to extend the session we can do that like uh, the coordinator if you are free then uh, pranav are you free then we can extend the session a bit more like i want okay you can be so i want i really want to ask the participants whether they are getting interested or whether i they want me to stop the session after 5 minutes it's completely yours as what you want like to continue the session for a bit more time or to stop it after 5 minutes okay uh, like i am only seeing the sri lakshmi's uh, messages i want some more responses continue okay what about others uh... yeah i want some more responses like uh, what about like um, mohammad riyas can uh, can you turn on your mic and please respond whether to continue or to stop mohammad are you there okay albin thank you to continue okay my kish okay okay then go on the chat whether to continue or to it's okay 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 albert thank you thank you i got five six responses uh, that's enough continue yeah till what time you guys want to continue that i asked uh, forgot to ask what time you want to finish the class Yeah, actually I forgot to tell you guys. Like we created a Discord server and sent the link to everyone's mail, and also we created a WhatsApp group which I will show you guys. And some of you have also joined over there, so I want you guys to join to the both like. this whatsapp and discord like uh, the session is till tomorrow but it's not the end you guys can ask anything to us like me pranav and siddharth all three are there like uh, we all three of us do this uh, web designing so you can uh, we are having many, many other stacks like some of you might be going to the college and you want to learn new stacks so you can ask anything to us like my domain is mainly web designing and a uh, monster so you can ask me about about this and machine learning too and pranav is like a kind of mainly a designer and editor so you can ask that sort of uh, doubts to him so it's not the end for tomorrow for that purpose we created this discord and this uh, whatsapp uh, group so tonight like at 10 pm we are uh, having the voice talk over there talk over there in the discord so those who want to join those who want to give their suggestions or like it's normally free and frank talk like the friends talk we are going over there not like a sir or something students not like that over there nothing like that it's normal talk like uh, we, uh, if you want to get to know about our experience our learning processes we can tell you that and you guys can also follow this okay so it's normal talk those who want to join please do join so uh, and please just make sure that you get more interactive like you are 12, most of here are 12th class students and now you guys will be going to your college so uh, there you have to be much more interactive to stay okay to like uh, you should get more molded up or more free to speak so that's why we created this these two things so please do join okay i can i can show you the whatsapp like mm, here this introduction to web dev and i think some uh, participants have joined like 20 participants have joined it's not uh, uh, great participation guys you you guys join and like uh, tomorrow's meet telling timing and like the source code like the coding which we are doing i can even provide the folder over here or uh, like instead of mail you guys can access it here easily cause most of you might not be using the mail frequently uh, so please do join over this too okay so that would be grateful to you guys only and okay the discord server you can see like which we created okay have anyone used discord over here in the meet present the people present in the meet has anyone used discord earlier like i think means la 
uh, no okay not not an issue not an issue it's not that much big deal it's like the sim- similar like okay albert yeah i know my friends might have used like second years on the first years they might have used uh, my major question is to the 12th class students some might have heard about it but not yeah, used so i got two responses uh, two to three responses like not used so that's not a big issue it's similar like a google meet or something you can see and like when you just open discord and when you sign in you can go over to like a uh, invite link has been sent to your mail and for your ease i will be sending the inv- discord invite link to your whatsapp group to where the where you can join the discord and here the voice cha- voice channels you can see voice channels uh, around 10 today 10 we will be having a talk regarding what sort of uh, doubts you are having or like if you want any kind of experience learning from us we we are there we are there like we are there around 10 and you can ask anything us anything to us any time and if you are busy we will surely ping you back like you can ping to us to whatsapp to not a big issue but please do ask i want this participation to be continued okay sandra okay you have used okay like okay none of you have told me the time till what time shall we continue the class please uh, if you give a correct time then we can stop over oh, that time cause some might be having other works to do also so please give a time anyone like albert sandra albin anyone 31 okay half half an hour okay okay thank you okay like uh, i will be just completing this course okay course section with the styling i will be completing at that point we can stop okay is is that fine till the course styling is that fine or you want to learn more also is that fine okay okay uh, so like it's just the section of btech which we created now i want to create the mtech also okay like we are not just providing btech only we are providing mtech too for that what we do is we will create create this another div class course call okay control c and like after this div after the second div the course call div i will just copy paste it and in this btech i will be using mtech okay and like in mtech the courses are different so i will be changing their names also for the courses over there i will just simply delete all these things and i will start it from the scratch okay so like computer science and engineering okay and then two brs okay and uh, like power electronics and now to be ours more and now transportation engineering it's also one of the courses transportation engineering okay and communication engineering and the signal processing okay and like industrial automation and robotics okay industrial automation and robotics okay so these are the courses okay i just named it and let's see what happens after control s let's see what happens over there okay and i'm tech section is also created but it's looking very much awkward to see this like uh, it's not even style designed or something like you can see it over here also the web okay now i have to style this i have to make this heading to in the center and be tech in a flex box i want to do all those things so the next the next process is to do that how to make this like mm, <laughs> uh how, how to just make this um row padding and all the uh, like how to uh, make this in a better way in a styling manner so let's do over that i will just go on and just do the styling for the course section okay now for that we will go over to style.css 
and like after this header is over like uh, i forgot to give a comment over there like okay header section styling that's okay and in the end here where it's over okay here also i will just give it's bit gone bit down okay i will write here course i'm just giving this command for your ease only because it will uh, make you understand whether uh, where uh, where am i coding the main things and uh, the uh, it's the coding of which section for that purpose i'm just for making your work easier i'm giving this comments over here i hope you guys got it how to give commenting and all those things okay commenting is an easy task it's not a big task like the coding ones okay so okay and then okay and now let's start with the coding part of the styling part of this course section for that first of all i will be uh, like uh starting with dot course because dot course is the main parent for all these things like div class row for uh, their components and for the course call and their component so it's like the main parent for everything so we will be styling with that we will be styling uh, uh, uh styling with uh, we will be starting the styling with the course dot course okay so with to be the 80% and afterwards we will just make the margin to be auto auto okay and like i will just text align it as center and padding also i will make it from the top to be some 100 pixel because it has to be down padding top to be 100 pixel i think it's fine and let's see what happens okay so you can see that the padding is perfect everything is in center it's done it's fine but now like um, it's not even having a good look uh, till now like it's not in a box it's like uh, happening in a free space for that what we will do is like we, first of all we will make the heading and its font size to be some like 36 pixel or something uh, like any choice i'm just giving 36 pixel and i am just increasing the weight i am just making it some more bolder like giving it a 600 and just saving it okay you can see like you can see this semi bold and uh, over here so uh, one thing i forgot to tell, uh, tell you guys that we will be using google forms over here and to bring out the google forms over here we can use two methods okay one is like that uh, taking the codes from google okay we will be taking both the codes from google but one is directly importing it in the style page or the other one is like linking it in the index page and then uh, writing uh, the styling in the style page so i love to use the import method because it's a simple manner it's a one way method so for that uh, go to your browser go to google phones and Okay, I specifically love to use the uh, like Roboto. I love to use the font Poppins. I love to use the font. So, uh, what kind of font you love, you can use that. Uh, for this page, I will be use, loving to use Poppins. Okay, when you search, you can see this Poppins over here. And then go to here and like you can. Uh, I will be using this uh, like. Then I will be selecting and I want this extra light also. And don't select the italic one because the uh, the type of font which I am using is already a Cascadia one. So don't use the italic. So light and regular. Afterwards, there is some medium also. Then semi bold and in the end bold will be there. Okay, bold. Okay, here you can see this uh, use on the web. You can see to embed a phone, copy the code into the head of your HTML. Okay, so it's giving the, uh, to copy this font in the head of the HTML. It means that it's asking us 
either to copy the code over here in the head section after this line or and then complete it by just like going downwards you can see the css and just pasting this simple line of code in the starting where this where css is starting over that page like here underneath it okay after the statement you can use that but you can use it in uh, other manner like just before this you just have to do this go to the browser and like you can use import and i will just simply import i will just i will not be copying the style line i will be just copying the import url line control c and i will just paste it over here control v i hope you guys got it any doubts like how to do it whether i need to repeat it once again or not please do tell Okay, guys. Any kind of notes? Okay, repeat, repeat. Okay, I will repeat it once again. Okay, like uh, go to the Google browser. Okay, go to your browser and search over there Google phones. Okay, so you can see n number of phones over there. Uh, you can choose a font of your choice. But for this page, I will be using Poppins. Like I mostly use Poppins and Roboto, the two styles which I love to use. So here I will be using Poppins. And you have to select some uh, kind of fonts from there. Like in the Poppins, you have to select this uh, thin instead of this. Select. Okay, uh, just thin. And then extra light, two hundred. Okay. Then light three hundred. Then this regular four hundred and the medium five hundred, semi bold six hundred, bold seven hundred. Don't select the italic ones; just select the normal ones, okay? And then you can use either ways. Like when you click over the starting, you don't have to click over the import. You just you uh, when you just uh, click all these styles, you can see this link over here. So it's asking us to when just move the second slide bar up. You can see to embed a font. Copy the code into the head of your HTML. So it's asking us to uh, copy this code to the head of your HTML page. So I told you that go to index, and after this link rel style sheet. After this linking of the style dot CSS page, you can copy the code over there. And after completing this HTML linking with the Google font, you have to copy a code here in the starting after this padding, and that code is also present here. Like when you go down using this second sidebar, you can see the phone family code, which you can either write because it's a single line statement, a simple one. You can write, or either you can copy paste over there. Okay, the, this is one method. The second method is you can use this import method, whether uh, where you have to just copy this this much, not the style line. This much you have to copy and paste it over the starting of this, with the starting of the style dot CSS. Okay, it's the difference. I hope you got, uh, got it, Siddharth. Uh, like, whether I need to repeat it once again. I'm happy that you asked me to repeat. Like, for, uh, it's good. Got it. Okay, thank you. Okay, I will continue then. After Control S. Okay, you can see like this. The style has changed a bit, okay. And now I will go downwards and continue my uh, styling of this H1 and all other things. Now I want to style this P, okay. I want to style this P, uh, the paragraph statement. So for that, what I will use is I will first of all change the color. Uh, A uh, bit gray, and I will increase its font size to be 14 pixel. And afterwards, I will increase its font width too, so that it becomes a bit more bolder. 100, okay, 300. And font width to be. I am sorry, I'm just using this font width, and let's see what happens. Okay, the color has changed. Earlier it was black, now it's gray. A uh, grayish color is seen. Okay, I hope you understand. And one more thing I have to do is padding. 
padding like padding from all the four places so i will be using padding 10 pixels padding 10 pixel and simply okay you can see now the padding is done in a, in a much better way like there was no spacing between this civil and btex the padding has been done now what we have to do how to make it in a flex box manner for that first we have to just make this row styled and i will just using the margin top as five percent i will be just marging it from the top to add a five percent manner okay uh, i think anyone is having any doubt got it or uh, having any doubt the speed is okay am i going a bit more in a speed way or the speed is fine it is fine okay and what about the topic the uh, topic is okay 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 fine okay and uh, now i will be displaying like yesterday we used the display flex to make those nav links in a proper flex way and i will be using the justify content uh, so that the perfect uh, spacing is provided space between and you can see this now afterwards we will be styling the other div the next div of this row that is the course call okay and there we have to do the major portions okay the major portions have to be done over there like uh, what all things to be used and all all other stuff okay it has to be done over there so like just a second. Okay. So now let's move on to the course call. I will be using this flex basis. Like I want to use the flex box. That that's why we are using this flex basis. And I will make its background ash. And these are the codes. Like FF3, FF3, FF3. Okay, it's a color code. And it's like slightish, means you, a uh, creamish color, you can say. Okay, and I will be just making the border radius. So, border radius means like in the flex box, it becomes a flex box. So, if you want your box, like the card, having a curved shape, okay, from the uh, borders. So for that purpose, we use border radius and I'm giving it a 10 pixel border radius and the margin bottom to be 5% five, uh, 5 like from top and bottom I'm giving this and padding like 20 pixel and 20 pixel. Okay. I hope this is fine and uh, the box sizing like we have, want a box. So the sizing should be like border box like border and everything should be in the perfect manner so that's why we are using the border box and in this too we will be using the justify space between con uh, content space between because we want everything to be properly spaced between the control s and now you can see i will show it in the browser here you can see like it's in two boxes, two different boxes. Okay. Uh, I hope it's visible. Guys, it's okay. Are you able to see that or uh, do I need to change the background? I think the background color is a, a bit more lighter. Any kind of doubts or any changes you want? Hello, guys. Please do respond. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, I did one thing, one mistake over here. Like, I'm using uh, I'm using already H1 over here. Okay. Like, I'm already using an H1 over here. Courses we offered then afterwards. Okay, I did uh, correct. I thought I did use H1 once again. Okay, I did H3 there. And now I want to change that H3 also. Uh, like I want to give the changes to H3. I'm not giving any course call H3 because I'm just using 
H3 or here in the whole page, I'm using H3 for the first time here in the BTEC and MTEC. So I can simply write H3 and it will, it will just get changed itself. So I will just make it the text align in the center and we'll just increase the font weight to some 60. So, and afterwards, like margin to 10 pixel. 10 pixel and zero okay so these are the things which we have done and like i'm giving a uh, like we'll just make it some different color like uh uh what color should i give it like a black color but then the phone uh, color will change will vary okay i hope you guys are able to see this it's is it okay it's visible or not Okay, uh, in unordered list, yeah, but uh, in unordered list, it's like a listing, but we are not listing it. We are just writing it in a whole paragraph. Okay, we want that paragraph and then we are the styling. You can do it in an unordered list, okay? Uh, either way you can use, but paragraph is much more better because first you have to write the unordered list and LI, and then you have to style it. It's much more complicated, but it's a simple manner like write in P, uh, P tag, and just do the same, okay? It's much more simpler. Okay, in H3, and uh, like I'm just giving a hover effect over this too. So, hover is called hover. And I'm just giving the box shadow. I'm just giving a shadow to this. And these are the uh, like kind of coordinates which we used to give. So I already told that the coordinates you have to learn yourself. You have to do it, practice it. So don't just like uh, I'm doing and you are just looking and doing nothing. So don't think that you guys are also learning the same. So it's good. Uh, like I forgot to give. Okay, okay. I think uh, some issues are there. I hope it's a issue. Some issue uh, let me check out just a second. Okay, let's see what's the issues. Like you can click over here and uh, expected, 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 expected. Okay. One one two comma eighteen. Let's see where is one one two. The light one one two. It's expecting. Border radius. Okay. Okay, I got it. What's the problem? Okay, so the problem was I left out to give this color over there. I thought you guys are not able to see. That's why I left out to give the color over there. So that was the issue it was showing. Okay, and now I will give the hover effect over there. First call and hover. Like I already created the box shadow. So the box shadow and it's uh, like pixel giving. And this is RGB means red, green, blue attribute combination is this RGB. And in that, we'll be using this code. Point Control S. And now you can see this. You can see a hover effect when we click over that. Like when you click over this nav links, it told a red line beneath it. And now 
here this and when you click over this button to okay i did i didn't give the button the hover effect i will do it uh, like afterwards tomorrow let's do that or whether you want me to do the button hover right now okay it just might take some time okay i think we should do that too so that you can see the hover effect in the button also like button and hover and i will be just giving the border it as one pixel i already told that what is this border like and the color code like uh, f44 336 okay i am giving this color code and i am giving the background also the same color code like when we click over that it will show the same color okay now you can see these are the color codes which i have used uh, yesterday and today the whole web page so you can just simply click over here and like see and the transition of it to be like speed of 1 second okay 1 second and now i will just see now you can see this okay i hope it's okay it's perfect any kind of any sort of doubts any issues please do tell any doubts guys any doubts please tell do i need to repeat the same like any to any point i need to repeat please do tell guys i am on uh yeah you can give yeah you can give the color to the button but here it's like um i'm using the hover effect that's why i'm not giving in color like when you click over that it automatically gives the color otherwise you can just give the color inside this only so it's your choice whether to give the uh, after effect or the hover effect or the normal color effect that's your choice it's completely your opinion okay any other doubts guys any other doubts please do tell okay so the guys who left have uh, lost the chance to fill the feedback form because it was necessary to attain your certificates like you have to fill the feedback form for the 3 days and at the end of the session like tomorrow we will be providing you a quiz a, for, a quiz form at, uh, like some 5 to 6 questions will be there and you need to at least score 3 out of that so that you can get the certificates and fill the feedback form daily uh if you attend the class daily then you will get a proper overview of the class what's happening like uh, some are getting net issue so i understand that some gets out of the class but those who are okay with the net and other other things so they should attend the class the whole day the ho whole day i mean the whole time it's there so i think pranav uh, by my side the class is over for today please uh, can you provide the feedback form for this participants here please don't leave guys please don't leave wait for the feedback form pranav pranav are you there i am okay 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 so okay no issues no issues shri lakshmi uh, yeah the day one feedback link is there if you guys are having any sort of net issues that's the reason why i created this uh, whatsapp group and the discord server please do inform us over there so that we can provide you the link personally cause uh, that uh, pa pasting the link over there so that every can everyone can uh, fill the feedback form is not a feasible idea so that's why you just ping over there and we will provide the link personally to you either in the whatsapp or in the discord so uh, if you guys are free anyone wants to join in the night around 10 pm you can you guys can join uh, like uh, if you are having any sort of doubts regarding web or any other things you can ask us it's a normal free talk not like a study session right now normal free talk like the friends talk you can join you so can i get some response who all would be able to join
okay so good afternoon guys i hope we are good to start with the session okay so uh, earlier i told that i will be trying to create four other sections in this uh, index page and we'll be completing today's session uh, by creating all those uh, a session by creating all those other four sections so i think we should start so yesterday we uh, ended the session by creating the second section of our index page that is the course section i hope everyone is clear till here uh, if, uh, if anyone is having any kind of doubts please do ask i started the meeting a bit earlier because uh, it was like a kind of platform where i wanted uh, someone to ask any sort of doubts to uh, only just sri lakshmi was responding and uh, is having doubts no other one is having i think so if anyone is having please to ask then only i will proceed with today's class i hope no one is having any doubt so i will start the session without wasting much time further okay so after this section uh, the other thing which uh, the next section which we are going to create is the campus section okay so first of all i will be commenting here like the campus section section and then i will start the section how to create that so first of all the same thing that section class to campus okay so i'm giving is the name class name as campus because our section is of campus so that's why i'm giving the name as class campus and like now i want a heading okay or uh, like what we gave here uh, india's biggest college so like um, our indian campuses okay i'll give it this heading our indian campuses and then uh, are you presenting okay okay i'm sorry i forgot to present the screen okay i will present it now i hope the screen is visible albert yeah yeah visible it's visible okay okay uh, so i uh, said that okay 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 thank you okay i said that i am creating a new section named campus and then just the, uh, i gave these two sentences like the section class campus and heading for that our indian campuses okay i hope this is clear no doubts uh, because we did it in the last two days i hope no one is having doubts with this Okay, so i will continue further now the same thing i will be creating a class like we did in the course section a class name a division class name row okay and inside that i will be adding an image like we are uh, like uh, sri lakshmi asked me that will i be showing any image addition in this class yes so this is the time that i will be adding a new image or uh, like the building of the campus in india so i will be giving an image source and the path that image slash and all those images are here like okay i gave it the name london new york and washington so instead of indian campuses i think we should give it like our global campuses okay so first of all i will be choosing this any one i anything i can choose i am like choosing of london okay and here i will be giving a small change on global campuses And here, over here, above, I will be changing it to world's biggest college. Okay, instead of India, because then that won't be matching. Okay, I hope this is clear that I am adding of a new image, and then I will be just adding this image in a flex box, like we created yesterday for the course section, like B Tech and M Tech. We added some paragraphs inside that some points, like uh, civil, mechanical, electrical, all of the engineering stuffs. so the same will be done but in a different manner here we won't be adding any points we will be just adding of this image and the name of the place like the image name is london so london will be added over here okay so for that i will be creating a new class name a new div name div class campus con 
now you might be thinking why i can't use call everywhere like here i use course call and here campus call i'm not using just call because like when we are doing the styling in css we can't use call everywhere because otherwise it would it will overlap the designing of one section if we are using call every single place so that's why i am differentiating it with like in the course section so i am giving it the course call and in the campus section i am giving it the campus call so that's the that's the reason why i'm using different names for the column section but the row is just giving same okay why because like the uh, flexbox is creating okay and campus call and course call they are just like the sub child of this course section and campus section okay sub sub child because the sub child is row so the row there are no sim, uh, different changes that we are providing to these sections so that why, that's the reason i am giving it just the name row otherwise you can either give it the name campus course row campus row that's your choice okay i'm just giving it the name row and now what i will be doing okay uh, i did a mistake over here like inside the campus call i will be providing the image instead of the course because i want the content to be present inside the sub sub child that is a campus call because we are creating it a column wise way so that's why i am providing the images inside the campus call uh, division okay and now i am creating another div name div class yeah because i want a proper layering for this okay like uh, i will be uh, adding on three images like uh, one for london one for washington and one for new york so i want those three things to be aligned in a proper layer in a proper manner like in the vertical manner that's why i'm creating another class uh, division name div class layer okay i hope you're fine with this any doubts please to ask any doubts anyone till here like uh, the kind of divisions i created any doubts please to ask you can switch on your mic or either you can chat okay okay clear okay thank you thank you fine okay i will continue then now i am giving it the name just i told that i will be adding a image and the heading that what uh, which place is the image i have placed like london image so i am giving it the heading as london so like in the capitals only i will be providing it and so on okay so okay let's save it and i will open this uh, like live server in the live server i will be doing that okay and you can see like this here yeah. you can see that but it's not at all looking good it's not aligned not anything isn't done in this styling has to be done so uh, like Uh, for your simplicity what i will be doing this is i will will be opening the browser preview i will be showing this so i will be pasting the link over here see the changes here too okay yeah here see it's not at all looking good and even we uh, if we just align it and style it everything but uh, in the small size it won't be aligned in a proper manner because we are not currently we are not making it responsive because it's a big heavier task uh, like making the whole website that we have a whole index page a responsive one okay after don't get saddened after the session if anyone wants to learn it in the more uh, for the manner you can either ping me in whatsapp or in the discord server i will be available there so i will uh, help you guys out how to create this website in a whole responsive manner so uh, don't get saddened okay so now what i will be doing is i will be adding three images so i want uh, three more divisions like this i will be just simply copy paste and then and another one okay i hope it's fine okay so here are the three divisions and here i am changing the 
image which I want and the heading also. Like now I want the Washington image or the New York image, anyone. And I'm just changing all the heading here. New York. Okay. And here I will be just first of all changing the heading and then I will be adding of the image Washington. And just like this. Okay. Uh, Washington as it is. Okay, I will just search it out. Okay, the Washington is here. Okay. I hope this is fine with you guys. Okay, now you can see like three images are there, but it's not visible here. Uh, let's see in the bigger screen. Okay, uh, it's completely like untidy because all three images are like attached to each other and the headings are also not properly aligned, not colored. And the heading, major heading of this, our global campuses, all these thing, things are not done in a proper manner. So now let's move on to the styling of this section, the co uh, campus section. Before moving on to styling, any sort of doubt till here, please ask. Any doubts to anyone? Till here, like, is this clear or I want? Uh, do you want me to repeat it again? Any kind of repetition do you need? You guys respond, please. Is this fine or not? Okay, please. Okay, fine. On some more responses, uh, like, either switch on your mic or other, I will ask you guys, like, Okay, it's fine. Okay, then I will continue. I will now move on to the sec uh, styling part. And before styling, I will be just commenting over here. Like the campus section styling starts over here. Okay, so I will be just commenting that. Campus section styling starts. Okay, oh, this is fine. No one is having doubts in this. Okay, now let's do the styling. Okay, dot campus, the major the section name, the section class name campus. So first of all, we will be styling that because it's the parent of all this div class row, class campus call, and the class layer. So it's the parent of all these all these three children. So first, first of all, we have to style this parent class. Okay, for that, after uh, in campus, we will be doing with like 80 percent and margin to be like auto i'm giving it an auto margin nothing else margin to be auto and the text to be in the center text align is center and now uh, like padding from the top to be just like 50 pixel okay i'm giving it a 50 pixel Okay, I hope this much is fine. Let's see what happens now. Okay, let's see. Stay over here. Now, the thing is in the center, the heading is in the center. Uh, it will be clear here. Yeah. The heading is in the center now. Okay, but the other things are not styled. So we have to style that with the help of campus call campus call image layer all all these things have to be done okay any sort of doubt in this styling section that how to style this campus how did how i did that any sort of doubt, please ask please switch on your mic that would be much com comfortable for me like if you switch on your mic and ask your doubts that that will be much comfortable No one is responding. Okay, guys, I already told you that at the end of the session, there will be quiz, uh, like a quiz form will be provided. So it will be beneficial if you clear your doubts right now. Otherwise, then you can't give your quiz the best. So any doubts, please ask. The quiz is uh, made very simple that you can uh, get whole score from that. But any doubts, then you will lag behind. So please do ask right now. Any sort of doubts, please do ask. Okay. 
okay no doubt. then i will continue if no one is responding okay now i will be just styling this campus call division now it's the subtitle of this campus so first of all we have to uh, style this then only we will be going to style the image the sizing of the image then only we will be going to layer because we will be going step by step first the parent then subtitle then it's subtitle and in this manner we will be going now i will be using flex base basis to make it like in a flex box okay. and i am using the border radius so that i can see a curve in my flex box at the corners of my flex box uh, like of the 10 pixel border radius i am using and margin to be like something margin in the bottom manner margin bottom of 30 pixel and position to be later i am not giving an absolute position i'm sorry position to be relative and now the overflow like it won't be it would be hidden now for the time being okay uh, like we will be adding a beautiful hover effect in this okay uh, which will make our flex box much more pretty so for that purpose i'm giving a overflow of hidden over here now let's see what happens now see like this it's now uh, like now in the flex box you can see these things are in flex box uh, and there you can see a curve over the corners in all the corners you see okay and now i will be styling the image because i don't want to like mm, see this okay let me show you in the big bigger scale too okay so like this okay it's done now i will be just uh, like styling the image dot campus all and with to be like 100% with i will give it the proper width thing and the display or uh, it to be a block in a block manner okay now you can see the uh, the change over here okay like i uh, don't want to make it responsive because it's already aligned properly like you can increase the strength uh, not the strength you can increase the height of this image okay uh, using the responsive method but i think it's fine like in the phone size it's fine you can increase it in a bit manner okay i hope it's fine now see it this in okay it's perfect okay but perfect any doubts to anyone how i did this Okay, is Milan over there? Milan, any doubts? Milan, Tommy. Milan, any sort of doubts? Okay, anyone, please respond. Okay. Are you guys having any doubts? Like, do I need to repeat this part again, or it's clear? I should continue. okay the use of attributes relative it's like uh, it will be giving a proper spacing from the top okay relative attributes there are many use of this relative attributes first of all and you can check all those uh, attributes and their use is the how to position them okay uh, you can check out like i will be providing you guys some excellent sources resources at the end the links of the resources where you can go and check out uh what's their use how to do that and how to get the, uh, like i told you how to get your coordinates correct so i will be giving the resources at the end and also the source code with which which makes you pretty uh, pretty much easier with web designing i hope uh, till now you guys have got something not the whole idea something you might have got how to create a a, a simple section of a website i hope so use is like um, the best use of relative absolute 
in the position absolute it fix the position okay uh, like uh, if we are giving any additions to that it won't be changing it will be just absolutely present over there relative from the top from the spacing there will be a spacing from the top a padding spacing will be there if we will be providing relative like earlier uh, my friend albert asked it out that in the nav bar he just used the position relative so the logo and the nav links were not aligned in a single line the nav bar uh, the nav links just got downwards because he used position relative so he got the top padding and when you just give that position absolute it just fixes the problem it just moves back or either you can use margin pa or padding from the top okay i hope you got an idea what's this use of attribute relatives so let's me any doubt should i repeat it again no sir okay okay i hope you okay if your mic is working please do ask the doubts using mic okay yes yeah, sure sir okay okay thank you okay then i will be moving on to the next thing like what's the next uh, the division of layer okay now i have to do that okay now i will be giving this a background of transparent because i am using the hover effect uh, so i am uh, for the time being i am using this transparent effect over here height of this to be this like these are the layerings one to three layers you can see so i will be giving it a height of 100% and then the width also to be 100% position to be absolute because i don't want anything to move right now absolute okay and the top to be zero left also to be zero okay i i already told you that while creating the navbar i used the attribute named transition okay to the transition attribute to slow down the speed we will require that here too but for the time i am not using because after creating the hover effect only i will be using this transition okay uh, i want to show the differences that's why i am not using transition like uh, right now and the background like now i am giving a background because i want Uh, the hover effect so that's why i'm giving the background of light these are the coordinates don't worry that i'm how i'm getting if i did it earlier i am new, knowing about it so that's why don't worry that you will also get the coordinates uh, if you just keep practicing like this and now see okay here's a red effect over here the transition okay but it's not looking smooth it's not looking good i want to make it smooth so for making it smooth i will be using transition attribute okay and the transition attribute i will be using like 0.5 seconds okay now you can see a smoothness effect a slow down effect is it okay any doubts is this fine or shall i repeat it no don't sir Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now, like the heading is coming over the top, and I don't want that. I just want it to be in the bottom. Okay. So uh, now the next step, what I will be doing is styling that heading. Okay. So I gave it layer X three. Okay. Now I will be styling it so the width, its width, let it be hundred percent. and font weight to be something like 500 or something please uh, the coordinates which i am giving is completely like the colors all these are all my choices you can change the colors it's completely dependent on you what color you want you can do, uh, absolutely do that okay and color also i have been giving it uh, like i can either write white or the color code that is hash fff okay so this is the color code of white for your simplicity i will be using just white over here for the time being okay and now i will be just increasing the font size to at least some 20 or 25 pixel like 25 pixel i increased and now from the bottom i want it to be zero because i want it to be in the bottom and left some 50%
transform translate x uh, like i'll be using a minus 50 percent and uh, i i hope in the first class or yesterday i used this tran transform translate minus 50 minus 50 oh, so in yesterday i used that okay yeah here yesterday not yes uh, yeah i yesterday i used the same okay so what's this difference between just translate and translate x translate x is basically the horizontal translation like you are having the x and y plane so it's translation is like from the horizontal plane the x plane so that's the basic translate x attribute used here and i don't want the position to be anything change like going downwards or out of the box flex box or something so i will be just using the position absolute over here okay there's a opacity like uh, nothing to be seen or very like how uh, very crystal clear very smooth something like that for that thing we will be using opacity and i will be also using this layer s3 i will be adding hover effect in this layer also in the heading also so for the timing i'm not using transition i will be using this in the end and i just want its bottom to be like 49 percent or either 50 percent that's completely your choice what you want to and here i will be using its opacity one because the transition is given over here uh the hover effect now let's see and transition will be Point five second. Heading is coming. This is coming or not? Oh, I did some. Stuff. Okay, I hope the color I should change. I think I should make it black. Is that a problem? Let's see what's the problem. the color is okay let's see what happens okay the heading is not coming any mistake i did let me check on i think it's absolutely perfect Uh, let's increase the font size also, something like this. Oh, actually, I got the mistake. Why? Okay, so the problem is I am not giving the hover to the layer. I already did that. Now I want the hover to be done to H3. For that, I will be using like this, not the other manner. I got the mistake. Okay, so in this manner, you have to do the hover. Now it's seen like see simply you can see all the headings come up, coming let's see here too okay now it's coming proper anything to be asked any doubts that what's the problem what i got and how i clear that any doubts okay is the speed fine or i'm going in a bit speed do i need to decrease the speed any suggestions? Fine, okay. Okay, Atul, fine, okay. Uh, that's fine, okay, speed is fine. And what about the doubts, any kind of doubts? Any uh, repetitions to be done? Okay, guys, please sit on your mic and say, okay, because during this coding, I won't be able to see the chat every time. So that's why I'm asking you to switch on your mic. If you're comfortable, please switch on your mic. Like Sri Lakshmi, you earlier switched on. Okay. So it's not like your regular online class. So yeah, exactly. We are not. If we are not your uh, uh, like faculty teachers or mentors, something like we are just students like you. 
okay we are just your seniors so you can just ask us in a free manner okay so don't hesitate just feel free to ask need to respond because we don't understand yeah if you guys exactly if you guys are ha, yeah if you guys are having any sort of doubts i won't be able to understand if you are not responding through the mics or something so uh, it's like a bit difficult task to check out the chat every time during this coding session like it's a hands on session so it's uh, not that much e ease to be checking the chat every time so that's the reason why i'm asking you to switch on your mics okay i can understand the stage where and all of the things but like i already told start your similar online class or something like that just feel free to ask any doubts any even a simple doubts uh, doubts don't just leave it just ask it out okay i hope i can continue with the next section that is how to create the le uh, left out sections shall i continue or do you need to repeat the uh, do you guys want any kind any sort of repetition like any styling part or any html part anything like that please respond okay fine okay the next thing which we are now going to create is the other section that is facilities section like what kind of facilities this college is providing or something like that so for that i will be another creating a comment facilities okay section and then i will be just starting off this section class facilities okay so this section is created now let's move on to the paragraphs and the contents we need to add in this section so first of all i will be adding heading like our facilities it is okay the section is added now let's create a div like row and the facilities call so we want two divs so we will be adding that to div class and row and now i will be adding the facilities call okay so it's up uh, i hope so this is fine with you guys now uh, like i will be adding more images like Uh, some library other things like we did in the earlier section so it would be much more easier to you to understand because we did the same in the earlier section so that won't make difficult for you guys to understand okay so now i will be adding this div class and then image source from where we want our image to be added so image is slash and now what i want like first of all i want this library okay one of our facilities is library so we added that and now i will be adding a heading for that like world class library something like that world best library or anything that this completely depends on you what kind of heading or what sort of paragraph do you want to add okay now like uh, all the worlds best books are available here or something available here something like that okay i think this is fine and now the section is over okay now i want to add some more sections like the same some two or three sections i will just simply refresh that and let's check out what's happening here okay so so you can see a new section has been added with a bigger image of this library and now i will just simply copy paste these things and will create two more sections so v and control v okay so like i will be adding over here like playgrounds cafeterias like i added to i am having this basketball okay so all okay best playground okay and the paragraph which i am going to add is can play any sort of games over here and play any sort 
of means in this vega. Okay. Um, now I will be adding another image that is the cafeteria image, the canteen, basically the canteen image and old first cafeteria. Cafeteria. And have the best proof from here. Okay, I hope this much is fine. Uh, I will just simply repress that and see what's happening here. Okay, so let's just check it out in the bigger screen. Okay. You can see this best playground, but not the uh, like cafeteria section because the images are much bigger. So we need to style that. So any doubt, like how to add the images, do I need to repeat that again? Or shall I start the styling of the facility section? Anyone respond, please? Okay, guys, please do respond. Don't just like, uh, it will just get boring like the one-way communication. Please do respond. Please do ask. Okay, I should repeat. Okay, thanks, Albert. I'm happy you uh, you want me to record. Okay, so uh, the whole section to be repeated again on how to add the images. What do I need to repeat? Can you specify that? Okay, whole section. The columns and okay, okay, fine. Okay. So like uh, first I created this class facilities and then gave the heading our facilities. Then in the similar manner, a row and the facilities call. In the column section, like I want some uh, facilities to be shown, what this college is providing facilities. For that, I used an image over here with the help of IMGSRC tag and gave some heading and paragraph to it. Okay, after closing of this facilities call for the first one, I want two more, two similar facility, facilities to be added in the similar manner. So I just gave this, I just copy paste it and just change the name of the image which I want to add and the headings and P paragraph. That's all I did just like uh, right now. Uh, okay, uh, when you're seeing here, you can just see this only this single image. And when you go over to the big screen, you can see just two images. But the third one is not showing because the image size is big. We have an, the styling of this uh, page too. I hope you can hear me. Anyone please respond? Rana, Albert, anyone? Am I audible? You're audible now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, the screen, I think the screen is also visible. Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay. Okay. Albert, is your doubt clear that how to add those images and the section? Yes, yes. Okay, fine. So I think I, I can continue with the styling of that page, right? That section. Yes, you can continue. Okay, fine. So let's move on to the style and let's uh, style that section also for that. First of all, let's comment it. Let the facilities section styling. That's okay. I think this is fine. Okay, let's continue. Now, first of all, let's style with the uh, class, the main class, that is a facilities class. Yeah, I did this spelling. This is the name which I gave uh, facilities. Okay, it's perfect. Okay, it's perfect. Now, let's start with the 
styling okay let's give it a width of 80 percent and margin to be like auto text align center and padding from the top to be like 50 pixel 50 pixel okay i hope this is fine let's see what happens okay so uh, heading is in the center okay but still only two images are being shown nothing else so we need to do that okay so now we will move on to the facilities called div okay facilities call div okay the facilities column div and i want it to be in the flex box so just giving it the flex spaces of 31 percent okay and i want a curve also so that's why i'm giving it a border radius too radius of plus like 10 pixel and i want the margin from the bottom to be like five percent and text to be in the center okay to be in the center okay let's see now okay i will show it over here okay now you can see these things to be in the center okay but now still the image is not proper okay we have to do that how to uh, get all the images in the screen so for that i will be using those facilities goal and the image and let's give it to width of 100 percent and its border radius should be something like 10 percent okay <laughs> 10 pixel okay i will be giving it the border radius of 10 pixel and with to be 100 percent so i will be just simply showing it okay it's perfect now the image is also showing here and the heading and the paragraph all all the things are visible here okay like see it's very much simple and now i will be just using the padding of this paragraph to be zero because it's very much downwards so first of all do that just make the padding to be zero the facility is call and like use p and it's padding to be zero zero and now i will be also styling the heading the h3 that is the world's world class library so i will be using this facility is called and i will be using h3 and now let's do the margin it's top from the margin like right to 10 pixel 15 or something like that so like give it a 15 pixel and margin from bottom also something like 15 pixel so okay and now i will be aligning everything to be in the center so i will be using this simples okay text align center okay now let's see what has happened okay it's my it has been shifted uh, a position from the top and bottom also it's safe and you can see the p also aligned properly i just want the size of everything to be sim uh, same because i don't want to increase the size otherwise uh, like size of this uh, p will just get out of the uh, alignment which we gave to the image okay so i hope this is fine any any sort of doubts you want me to repeat this guys any sort of doubts any repetitions should be needed sir no need no need okay so let me anyone else no okay okay i hope let's continue right okay now the other thing the other section now we want the testimonial section like what a student uh, what the students is saying about like the reviews when we go to the play store we want to install an app uh, mm -hmm. like i first of all see all the reviews uh, like is this good or not whether to install this app or not and in any other website also we will we have to first check out the reviews so i'm giving that section over here the testimonial section okay now let's move on to index and after this section let us give it the commenting of testimonial section okay 
it's an anal section. I'm right. sorry, styling is not over here. It's an anal section, and like, just give it the name of section class and testimonials. Okay, testimonials. Okay, and now I will be giving heading that what our students wants to see. Okay, what are their reviews? So what our students say. Okay. Okay, I am giving this heading over here. What our students says, and now I will be doing the similar thing, uh, creating a row and a column. So div class, sorry, it's not console clear. Div class row, and another thing what I am going to create is div class testimonials. Call okay. Okay, so these two things I am doing, and now I will be putting over an image of one, uh, one uh, like I will be giving two reviews of two different students. So I want their images to be displayed. So what I will be doing is like I will be just giving IMG SRC and just going over the path, and like one is user one. Okay, and I will just doing that, and now I'm just giving div. Okay, uh, Dave, and now I will be adding a key where uh, what a student wants to say. Okay, so here, uh, like uh, one of the best education services provided in the world. Okay. Something like this, anything uh, completely your choice. What you want to provide, uh, okay? And afterwards, I'm just giving like uh, the name of the uh, student, okay? Okay, so like giving the name to the student, like I'm adding image of one of my friends only, so like I'm giving it the name, his name only, okay? I was having these two images, so I just placed it on, uh, like not uh, not any just compulsory or something like that. Whether you want to pay, you can paste any image. Either you can extract it from the internet also, so it's completely your choice what you want to. Now, the one and the most important thing which I want to show you guys is like uh, when we go the footer of any website, we can see the social icons like email. WhatsApp or uh, like Facebook, uh, Twitter, anything you can see over there. For that purpose, we will be using a thing named Font Awesome. Okay, Font Awesome will be used. So what I will be doing is like I will be going to the browser and I will just simply search up Font Awesome CDN. Okay, you also do the same thing. Just copy this Font Awesome CDN. Just Okay, and I will be just see. This is the font awesome one. Okay, I will be just simply the first link which you can see. I will be just simply copying this link, and I will be placing it over here. After this, uh, once again, after this link, okay, I will be just simply pasting that. Okay, I hope you understand. Uh, yeah, you understood what I did. Like I just use this uh, font awesome because I want to use the uh, like social icons. Okay, uh, now but for the stars also, I can I can create a star, but it's uh, much complicated as like by creating a star or taking the image of a star and placing it and just re uh, resizing it. That won't make it good that much look. Uh, uh, in, uh, comparative to the thing that we are using now, okay. So, just I'm going to the browser and I will be using this font awesome. I will be just searching now font awesome, not CDN, only font awesome. And I will go over here. Okay, uh, before doing that, any uh, sort of repetitions you required, I hope some might be having doubts in this. Any doubts? 
like using of this font awesome might be uh, it's so, uh, that it's a first time use for you guys so you might look you might get confused so do i need to repeat that portion once again yes sir once again please okay 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 fine thank you okay so i now uh, what i want to do is like when you go to the play store you can uh, play store you can see that uh, a person is refused and the number of stars he gave to that app okay now i want that same thing to be happening in my website in the same similar manner that i want the name of the person his review and uh, the number of stars he gave to the uh, college that kind of facilities and all other thing be uh, based uh, basis on that number of stars he gave so for that i will be using font awesome for getting the font awesome link simply you go to this search font awesome cdn okay i will just uh, give this link in the chat you guys can go over there okay i hope everyone got the uh, link which i provided you just go over there and copy this first link by clicking in this arrow okay the copy link tag you can just click over that and you can you will get the link of the font or some which we have to use our, in our website okay afterwards copying that we will be simply going to our index.html page and in the head after this link uh, like the linking of the index and uh, css page after that linking we will be just simply copy pasting this in this uh, line and you will get the font or some over here now we just got the font or some but not the icons for getting the icons we have to go to the browser and search simple font or some and uh, just click on the first link you will just reach out this page okay i hope now this is clear to you me or shall i repeat it once again no sir clear it's clear anyone else having any doubt in this topic in this part i will i can repeat it n number of times i already told so please do ask anyone want any sort of repetitions in this okay fine now to get the icons what should i do now i want like i want the stars okay the stars icon so just simply go over that pontosum.com i will be copying this also and pasting over the chat you can just simply go over that okay control v okay go over there and in the font awesome what we will doing is go to the icons <clears throat> okay now icons now i want to get the icon of star so just simply search star okay i want this star okay uh, the mark star the filled star okay so just click over that okay uh, wait for some time i think i might be okay it's coming okay and you can see this i class pass fa star just simply copy that okay simply copy that come over here and where we created our testimonials the testimonials okay after this uh, the name after the name we will be pasting it uh, guys so one second i will just come in a minute just one okay guys uh, guys you got that point what i did like i copied the code of the star which i want and i just pasted it after the name of the student which i gave here any doubt in that any repetition which you require shall i do it once again or not any doubt guys okay fine okay so i will be giving it something like for uh, i will be pasting it four times okay and now let's give one uh, like like one student is giving four star and another is giving four half star now how to get that four half star 
okay and just simply getting four star uh, okay the total number of stars is five and we want that the blank star the last star to be blank so how to do that just go back and you can see the blank star over here just simply click on that and you can see this okay just copy that come over here and just simply paste it after this okay it's very simple task nothing much difficult i hope you guys understood what i told that how to get the stars how to go get these icons any repetitions to be required anyone albert yeah the anyone any doubts you have you can ask shall i repeat this part once again how to get the icons and stars okay salat no okay okay some yes, some okay okay so let me some more responses please albert melan anyone anything to be repeated i can see some 30 to 32 participants over here and only 2 to 3 are responding that's not good like i will just okay is agustin over here agustin c bani c bani agustin c bani is he over here agustin hey guys respond please Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please switch on your mic then. Please switch on your mic, Augustine. Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you having any sort of doubt? No. Clear on. Clear on. Okay. Okay. Uh, clear on. Any of them? Parai ya. The any doubt sending any thing? Parai ya. Okay. 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 Um. okay now uh, afterwards what i will be doing is i will be uh, just copy pasting this okay this div class call and i will be placing this again because i want one more student review okay for that just simply copy pasting and i will be changing the name over here like and now what i will be doing is like uh one of the best education services provided in the world and i will be simply adding one uh, one thing in that also sports facilities okay Just simple one line okay, nothing big also good sports facilities just like that okay and now i will be giving it Uh, I told you that I want to make a half star. Like one will be four star, and one will be four half star. So how to get that half star? Okay, uh, just simply go back star. Okay, here it's not showing any half star. So let's search half star. Okay, now you can see this half star. Mm, just simply go there, and I will just simply copy paste this. Come over here. and simply place this in that okay i have this is fine any problem in this any doubts no sir okay fine so now let's see after refreshing uh, after saving this let's see what's happening Okay, the photos are same, so I have changed the photo. Let's just make it user two, control S, and let's see whether the photo has changed or not. Okay, the photo has changed, but okay, the stars are here. The uh, paragraph is also here. The photos are also here, and the heading is also present. Now, what to do? The styling. Okay, how to style this? Now, let's go and move on to that part. Let's style this. Okay. so i will be simply going to style css okay just okay we'll just simply okay 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 i think this is fine and after this campus and all of the things like we did the campus facilities and now the next styling is testimonials so okay 
Hi, uh, is the speed okay? Uh, do you guys feel that I'm going in a speedy way? Is the speed fine? Hello, everyone. Anyone? Is the speed fine? It's fine. Okay. Good. Okay. So I will be just uh, placing a comment that testimonials. Styling section starts. Okay. Okay. Testimonials styling section starts and just start with the testimonials. Our first and the main parent uh, class. Okay, and I will be uh, just giving it the width of hundred percent and margin same at the similar manner which we did because I also want this in a box manner so that it's properly visible. Auto margin to be I will like auto. And text to be in the center. I want text to be in center. And now the padding from the top to be like some hundred pixels. Oh, it's your choice. Some fifty, sixty, anything. I'm just giving it hundred pixels. I will be okay. You can see the text in the center. Everything like okay. So everything is in the center. We will go downwards. Okay, this image is not properly visible, so we can see the text over here. So we have to style that. For that, now we will be moving on to the next uh, class that is the testimonial call, and we will be uh, styling that. For making it in a flex box in the box manner, just flex spaces. We okay. These are the coordinates. That's completely as far as what you want to have. And I want to go in the borders. So I will be just using border radius of 10 pixel and margin from the bottom to be the same like earlier like 5% yeah, I'm sorry 5% and now margin from the right to be Okay from the right also I want the margin And I will give it the margin of 8% and margin left we of eight percent. Okay, I want the left and right margin to be in the same manner, and I will just give the background of this as uh, FF. Okay, you can see this. Some uh, uh, earlier I used this greenish red color type, greenish color type. So I will be using the similar one and padding to be thirty pixel. Cursor I want just I using the button I want the cursor to be point over here. I will be using the pointer cursor attribute and uh, the display flex because we are making it in a flex manner. Uh, now see, it's not at all looking good. Oh, okay, I can, you can see this. It's completely looking very much awkward. Okay, I will show this in the big screen now. Like you can see, uh, looking very much uh, like not at all looking that much good. Okay, so I will just simply style the image also, and I want to style the image for that. I will be using testimonials call and the image in that. Okay, and I will be just uh, making a side to be at least some 40 pixel. I don't want a bigger height margin from the left to be of five pixel. And margin from the right to be of 50 pixels and border radius to be thirty percent okay or some fifty percent because I want this image to be as a circle. Like I want this photo to be in a circle manner. So I will be using fifty percent. Okay, let's see what happens now. You can see this. You can see the name. You can see the name, the photos, and all of the things like here. Okay, you can see this and the stars also. Uh, but more styling has to be done in this. For that, first of all, let's style the P, the paragraph. P. And I want the padding to be simply like zero. 
Uh, now I want this heading like the same uh, to be styled. Okay. Uh, before styling that, till here, any doubts? Any sort of repetitions to be done? Any doubts? Please ask. Okay, guys, please respond. Any doubts? Okay, no, no. Okay. okay fine, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, now I will be just styling the heading. That is the H3. Okay. Okay, I think someone give a message. Let's see. Okay, Sarah, also you are having no doubts. Okay, fine, good. That's very good. If any doubts, please do ask. Don't hesitate. Okay, now I will be margining it from the top, like at least some 15 pixel, and it's aligning to be in the left. Okay. Uh, to be in the left, and let's see what happens. Okay, see. Uh, let's see it in a bigger screen. Okay. You can see now. And now I want this star. And uh, okay, I want this star also to be uh, like aligned because it's not go looking that much good. For that, what we will be doing is simply styling that got testimonials call and dot fs dot fs because it's a class okay you can see this it's a class fs fs star so fs here is the class okay and here it's far so if we want to style all these we want to style differently first for the fs and then for the far okay uh, here it's FAR, so we don't require any FAR, but only for this we will use the FAR dot testimonials call F dot FAR and dot FAR is because of this class name. Okay, I hope you understood. And I will just color it as uh, F44. Okay, I will be coloring in this. Testimonials call and dot FAR. Okay, and I will be giving it a color of F44, K36. Okay, and it's perfect. Color as control as, and you can see the color has also changed. The color is looking good. Okay. Okay, now what all things we require now? Uh, margin has been done, adding has been done. Okay, so I think let's move. Let's see what happens if we give it a margin or minus 50 pixel. Okay, it's just overlapping. Okay, so now uh, that's not looking not at all good. Okay, oh. Okay, so it's not looking good. Let uh, just just let remain that in the center itself. Okay. Okay. So the name, the paragraph, and everything. Okay, I'm just providing it in this manner, not doing anything to it. Now, the uh, any doubts still here? Any sort of repetitions that you require? In this part, anything to be repeated, please do tell me. Okay, anyone else? Any doubts, guys? Please do. Okay, so that also is having no doubt, and no doubt. Anyone else? Anyone is having doubt? Please do ask. Or uh, there is a QA session at the end, also you can ask at that time too. Okay. And now like just create two more sections. And next section is very much small. We can create it in a very simple manner. Like if you want to contact us or something. 
and the se uh, last section would be the photo one. Okay, so after this, let's provide this uh, call to action. Okay, let's uh, call to action because if anyone wants to call us, so let's give a call to action section. And I'm just giving it the name CTA because of it's, I'm giving it a short form CTA call to action. Okay. And no, Dave, no, something like that. I'm just giving an H1. Uh, like get admission in a college anywhere from the world. Um, okay, I'm just giving a BR over here. Like I'm breaking it. I'm just giving it in the next room. Uh, this is fine. Okay, it will be much more great if we put it in a like this. Okay. World. Uh, like I'm giving a okay, college. Okay. okay, and now I want to give a uh, like a button, a contact us button over here. So I will be just adding that here. Like we did it in the I think so in the header section we did that, we did that. Uh, like visitors to Noma, we created that over here. So I will be just doing the same here. And class will be like BTN. Okay. And now contact us. Okay. So this is the section, and I hope this is fine. It's not that much difficult to be understood. Yeah, A can be repeated anywhere. A is like an anchor tag. So uh, it can be repeated anywhere, wherever. Um, like you want a linking, uh, you want to add a linking of page, you can add that A tag over there. So A can be repeated in a website n number of times. There are no limitations for A tag. Okay, I hope Sri Lakshmi, your doubt is clear. Anyone uh, wants to be, this to be repeated, this call to A section to be repeated? Okay. So I hope let's move on to styling this. Okay. Uh, I will simply just do that. Let's see what happens there. Okay, it's get admission in our college. Anywhere from the world, it's uh, done. Now let's go to the style.css and we will be styling this called to a section. Uh, uh, I will be just giving CTS section sign charts. Okay, I will be simply giving that, and I will be just using the CTA, the main parent class, and I will be just margin 100 pixel and all. I will be just doing width of this to be like 80%. If anyone faces like my voice is breaking or any network issue in there, please do tell because it's raining over here. So I might face some network issues. So please do tell me. Okay, the background image. I'm giving a background image over here for this. And for that, like for the shadow effect, like I'm using the linear gradient and RGBA. Like I'm using coordinate different over 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.7 and the same. Okay, uh, we can see why the color is not showing up here because I did RGAB instead of RGBA and the same color codes to be added over here. It's simply the black color code 0, 0, 0.7. Okay, it's perfect. And now the URL of the image which I want to add. I will be using URL images and I want this banner to image and it's perfect. Okay, um, so that, let's do a semicolon, do a semicolon and I'll come to the next one. Now let's uh, do that background position size and all everything because uh, 
we want it to be perfectly uh, okay and i will be just giving background cover background size to not background cover background size to be cover and the border radius of this should be some like 100 pixel or 10 pixel not 100 pixel it could be very much bigger than i will be giving it a 10 pixel border radius and text alignment to be in the center okay. and padding this to be padding to be 10 pixel and zero no like I'm not giving any padding to left or right, I'm just giving to the top and bottom. Uh, let's see what happens. We'll see this. Okay. Let's see the bigger scale. Okay, you will see this. But actually, it's not looking good that get admission in your college from the wall. It's not like uh, looking that much visible or something. So, what we will do is we will give it a different color for that. What we will do is we will just simply go here and dot cpa h1 okay and i will be just giving it a color code of hash and button sorry not cf hash and uh like uh, white and i will be marginaling it from the bottom because margin b and it's 40 pixel adding to the zero i will just simply and you can see so uh, it's perfectly all right. Like, okay, you can't see any uh, curve over there because of this. Now you can see the curve because it was 10x, not 10x. So now you can see the curve here too. Yeah, this much is fine. This is looking good. And if we just put a uh, footer also in this website, it will completely look bad. So uh, that's the simple step. That's the final step. Now what we have to do is just add on a footer. Okay. It will take just some three to five minutes. Okay, now we will go over here after this section. So one more space and this photo section. Okay, photo section and we'll start with this section class equal to photo. And I will be adding this over there and I will be using this about us. <clears throat> okay. What we are, what we do. Okay. It's like just like about us. And I will be using the social media icon because uh, in the footer you can only see the social media icons and some context over there. Now to get those social media icons, I will be simply going about back to the browser, the font or some, and I will search like Facebook over here. Let's simply search that Facebook. And I can see the symbols over here. And I will just simply go to this one. First one. Okay, just wait a second. I'm having a bit of net issues. Okay, meanwhile it comes, we will do one thing that after this div, I will be adding a paragraph that is made with love. Okay, I want a love, a symbol of uh, love over here, so I will be just giving a space by unicorn dev. Okay, unicorn dev, and let's see. Uh, Uh, just a second, let's see what's happening. I think my net is not working properly. Really sorry, guys, it's actually raining, so the net issues are very much high over here. Or let me just simply type the code over here. Let's see if it happens or not. So the code is for icons, it's I class and fab okay, Facebook. Let's see. Okay, I didn't close this. That's right. Go this and see what's happening. 
okay the facebook has a period over here so i will just simply just copy this and just manually write it instead of waiting for that and i want this twitter instagram and linkedin okay for that i will just like uh, like writing twitter with uh, instagram and linkedin okay all those social media items instagram Instagram and LinkedIn. These are the four social media icons we are using over here. You can see this LinkedIn automatically appears. And I asked you guys that I will be using a heart over here, a love sign, I plus plus one two, like F A heart, F A heart. And simple. Let's close. And now let's see what happens. You can see this. You can see this made with love for you and all the four icons over there. So I will just simply do a spacing over here so that it feels good. Okay, now it's a spaced. Okay, now I will just simply do. Okay, uh, before that, anyone is having doubts in this particular section, how to add those social media icons. Guys, any sort of doubts how to add to social media icon? We did it earlier, like for the stars. I hope it might be clear for you. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now the last part of the session. Uh, the styling of the photo section. We need to move on with that. And with that, our session will be over. Photo section. Styling. Now I will be just simply styling the first one that Twitter and it's width to be 100 percent Okay. And this text align to be in the center manner. Adding from the top bottom to 30 pixel and from the left right to the nothing like stroke. And background color to be black. Background color to be black. And now the extra that is about a heading dot photo export and simply margin from the bottom to the as important to be 20 pixel margin of to be 20 pixel font weight. I'm just giving it a 600, 500, something, anything you can give that font weight. Just golden it up and color it to be white. If you can either use the color code also. And the next thing, I want this icon to be something bigger and its color also to be changed. So just simply going to icons dot path because the class for this is path. Okay, everything is having the same class path, so icons dot path. Okay, and I will just change the color. I will use this color, red color. Margin from the top bottom to the nothing is simple zero. To the left right is 13 pixel. Because I want it to be shifted. And the cursor also to be the point to one. And adding. I want spacing between them, so that's why 18 pixel from the top bottom and zero from the left right, and justify content is space between. Space between. Okay, space between. And I want the color of the heart also to be changed, so what I will do is FK heart, but you can either simply write icons of that, and I will just simply change the color of that to this one. Let's see what I have done here. Okay. I let me check out what I have done. Okay, so it's actually not inside the icon, so we have to directly write the FK heart over here. So that's the problem why the love is not changed to red. Then we have heart over here. So yes, now you can see the love is also changed to red. 
Now let's go and check it out in the video screen. Okay, you can see over here uh, this footer also. That's also I hope you guys are not having uh, any doubts still here, but if you do have, please answer. Guys, any sort of doubts? Actually, the session is over. Like, uh, I uh, promise you that we will be completing the index page today. And if anyone wants to learn it further, like how to make it responsive and other pages also, you can just ping me over WhatsApp. Uh, I will help you out. I will help you guys out. Like the WhatsApp group is also created. So please ask any sort of doubts there, okay? So any doubts, Sri Lakshmi, Albert, any doubts, please ask, okay? Okay, so actually uh, we said that we will be providing a quiz form. Okay, please do that. And after doing, please just respond with a yes or no. Okay, and we will also be sending the feedback form too with that. So please fill that. Uh, don't leave the uh, meeting right now. Okay, for now, please share both the feedback link and the quiz link too. Yeah, sure. I hope you guys had a great time with this class. I think you might have learned something, not the whole part which we did. Because learning uh, this thing like the website creation, the web page, it's not that uh, it's, I'm not saying it's very much difficult, it's easy. Uh, not in the one go, you have to practice it, then you can excel it in a great manner. So you won't stop this and you will continue to do this like in the future. Okay, whose actually audio is not clear? Hello? Okay, anyone please switch on your mic and, uh, and respond whether my audio is not clear or not. So now it's clear. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, Pranav, please send the link. Actually, it's already late. We had to stop it around 3.45. 3 10 minutes we are running late. Sorry for the delay. Uh, no issue. Actually, we uh, Pranav has sent all Hello? those all the links. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, good evening. Good evening. Anyway, uh, so uh, that's the end. Okay, so the end of the three days program. Yeah, hope it is uh, nicely performed. Actually, I was there for the last three days. Uh, anyway, and uh, uh, we got uh, nearly some uh, thirty participants, active participants. And uh, uh, I would like to thank, first of all, I would like to thank to the resource person, actually, the Siddharth, uh, Siddharth P and Siddharth Unitan. And together with uh, the student coordinator, Pranav, uh, they are working. They are, they are, you people are making it. Uh, your people are performing well, actually. We are spending, uh, uh, of course, for the class, you may spend some four hours, but for the preparation, I know, as faculty, 
uh, for the last three days you are spending that much of time and of course on behalf of uh, csi student chapter uh, i would like to thank you each and every one uh, the resource persons and of course the student coordinator and at the same time i would like to thank the participants so i know uh, uh, so some of, some of the participants are from outside the college actually this program was uh, intended for uh, plus 2 students anyway uh, we had uh, some nearly 100 registration but uh, uh, the first day we got some 50 participants anyway uh, only the active participants we, we need that is actually the good place so no problem at all and uh, i would like to thank the participants for spending and, and for spending the time and and uh, of course for attending this classes uh, actively and uh, uh, so of course this is a very good time and uh, we will be conducting uh, uh, yeah many more events and we will inform you anyway there is only one particular event which is already scheduled so we'll be getting the mail uh, about the details and i request to share the matter to your friends also especially outside the students this is called a student for outside the college okay so and uh, uh, once again i would like to thank each and every one especially the resource persons uh, student coordinator ms prana and also the all participants thank you thank you sir thank thank you sir thanks a lot thank you sir uh participants i hope you got the link and i think you might you are doing the quiz okay if anyone has done please they can respond and they can also leave the meet Okay, actually, I will stop my presentation over here. Okay, so uh, participants, you will be getting the uh, digital certificates. It will be issued in around one week. Okay. Okay, so those who are done with the quiz and the feedback form, they can leave. And anyone wants to give any kind of suggestion or feedback, please do give that. Okay, so that we can make these kind of events better in next time. Please do. Please do. Uh, so we can improve from that. <laughs>